So welcome back to the Coburn Bowling Club. So we finished the singles in what, what turned out to be a great game and we saw Linda Warburton and Rain Supreme over Carol Ashworth from York. Uh, we saw a great fight back and a great game of bowls. So we're now entering the pairs and 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 they're into it as we speak. So we've got Nolene, Abby, Judy, Petchett from Corrigan. They're with the white stickers and then they'll be playing Pat Belcher and Gloria Nelson from the Denison Bowling Club with the Blue Stickers. Uh, both obviously won their semi-finals to move into this position. And I'll hand over to F Phil Manning, who's by my side, to tell me the scores and the, how they managed to get through to this position. Oh, well, that's... Uh that's good. I, I actually left the scores inside, Doug. That so was great. But I know the Corrigan girls, I can remember their score. They had a pretty good win. They won 15-7, uh, I think. Yeah, and then the, then the sorry, I do, I, I can remember. I had them written down. But the Denison girls uh, got off to a really good start in their pairs. And they end up, the Dandy girls were a bit slow. They end up winning 17-14. But they were a fair way in front. And the Dandy girls fought back. And I think they were a bit disappointed in the end because they were a bit slow to start. And... You know, when it comes to a final, you need to be. And yes. uh, this has got off to a pretty good start. The Denison girls here, um, because Gloria's got one uh, pretty close now. Um, Nolene Abbey, gee, she doesn't need any introducing. Um, I, d I did have a talk to Nolene. I know she's lots won lots of things. Um, and I did ask her about a few things she's won, but I haven't got them all written down because I ran out of paper. <laughs> My notepad wasn't big enough. It wasn't long enough. So, um, yeah, well... If you start, and I'll tell you when we get to the 10th end, because that's how long it'll take you to read out Nolene's achievements in bowls. <laughs> well, uh, we'll just... Uh, well the, the girls play uh, three bowls straight in the pairs. It's great. Three by great. three. Yep. Uh, yeah, which is... Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've played it in the over 60s. Uh, a two by two is certainly the best game, but three's not bad when you get into it, and that's what they do play in the Commonwealth Games. Uh, so Yeah, it's an international game. It's an international uh, game, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it obviously uh, makes the game a little a little quicker as well. You know, there's lots of walking two by two. Um, I have suggested in Jack High and a few things that maybe the men like to, might like to pay, play three by three. Uh, it's not a bold WA directive. It's just something I thought of thinking of the old boys. Um, no one's come back and killed me, and one person's agreed, but no one else has actually commented. But yeah, it's out there again now, guys. Uh, it's definitely not a push and bold WA. It was just a thought I... I wondered whether the old boys, I'd rather to play two by two, but just wondered if it would help. Yeah, um, and that's why you're the complaints officer and I send divert <laughs> my calls through to you. Um, you're getting people to change. But uh, we're off to a great start and they don't get a roll up because I've already played on their screen. So, but they're straight into it and we've seen most of the bowls have, have picked up picked up the weight straight away. So. Nolene gets on the mat as having won the toss and of course they've got the white stickers but it's sort of easy enough to tell with Nolene with her white bowls 
and her offsiders. Judy has got the pink bowls, and then of course the Denison ladies are both sporting blue bowls. Ooh. And we can expect we can expect a cracking game of bowls uh, here here this afternoon as you know we're nearing 12 o'clock. Both the Denison girls have played a lot of bowls together, and in the inter the, the ladies of course play the the interleague and the interzone pairs, and these two feature together heavily and have been really successful you know, when they play bowls together. So they'll know each other's game inside out. Whew, and we're seeing straight away they've got a, a feel. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. But Nolene's the master of being able to play through the head and convert head, so expect expect that um, you'll see some great conversion shots from Nolene. Well, she, needs, she needs one right now. Yes. She's probably four down. It's not playing a lot of weight, but I guarantee she won't be short. She likes it. She stayed down on the mat for a long time. She's just outside. Uh, now, now, now the question is... Does Pat cover, or does Pat draw? No, she's so she's going onto the backhand. Probably just going to draw another one. So Nolene's uh, won many, many, many things, and I'll, I'll mention a few as we go because it takes a while. Oh, it doesn't really, but it's one lots. Oh, great ball here rolls the pink one. Wow. Wire. Through a little on the inside Three. of that, she gets it on the inside, and and she uh, makes five shots. I reckon so. It's uh, still three. Nolan will probably play a similar shot because, like you said, she's let's get all those. She looks like a little more draw weight. No, she's just reaching, just nice weight reaching. Been on the high gets side. It, um, a little bit, not far off. Yeah, yeah, just missed, not far off it. Played it well, didn't get the result. Yeah, she didn't get the inside. result. Yep, she's probably uh, three down there. The lollipop girl, the marker, indicates three. So, Pat, trusty backhand, has got well, they've room. Drawn, they've drawn, they've drawn five rippers on the on the on the skinny side of the backhand so far, all within a metre, and uh, this one's uh, not much different. Oh. Gee, she sits on the pink ball. Yeah, well, she well, she well. could have made six. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'd say uh, three. off to a. Off to a three, yeah. Say, so, but we'll let them decide that. They are in a better position than us to be able to decide how many shots are being held. So that's three that's come out, and three come out, and so does the tape measure, and they'll be looking for four. So both hailing. Glory is actually a reasonably new bowler, eight years. Um, as they decide that yes, that confirms it. Three bowls, so three shots were pulled out. And yeah, we'll just have a little little correction. Judy's lawyers ring up, and it's not Judy, it's June. So another one on my faux pas list. Starting to grow a bit, isn't it, Phil? <laughs> oh, I had, I had, I just had to go and check because I had June written down. Did you? Right. Oh. oh, God, sorry. Oh. 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 Ah, right. Well, well, what a great start from Denison. I tell you, there was, there was. Virtually six bowls within a three feet, a metre there. Um, very good. Uh, and Nolene, look, she's won everything. She's she's won three or four country week singles, four pairs, uh, uh, one fours. State, she's won three state singles, uh, four or five pairs. She could remember four, four fours. You know, and this year she's uh, she's brought down three new bowlers and. June Pet Shark, don't, please don't ring up or text in about the pronunciation. Or well, I couldn't, I didn't <laughs> even get June right. <laughs> so well, yeah. so um, Pet Shark is what we're going to call her. I've talked to her husband, he said that'll do. Um, so she's been playing for one year. One year, wow. Yes, yeah, one year. And uh, and the other two girls that, that played with Nolene in the fours are uh, all, all new as well I don't know how long but, but June's only been playing for one year oh, one year of penance 
So she's, you know, she could have been playing for a couple of years, coming down for a role, or just playing social. But she's had one year of penance, so not bad after one year of penance. You're out here in the uh, pairs final, and you and you you're leading like that. That's pretty good. It's a wee bit short, but uh, you know, it's a good girl. So that's uh, we've got some very very good experience, and uh, obviously a real nearly dead set learner. So interesting. And and on the other side of the coin, we've got. Gloria Nelson, she's only been playing for eight years, but in that time, you know, she started started with a Russian. She's already picked up two singles, been runner-up, won every club event that's on the go, as we see that one just slide past. Um, yeah, but anyway, they, they all seem to have picked up the weight reasonably well, and the grass they'll work their way into. Um, so, you know, she's been the Batavia Bowling League Bowler of the Year twice. I mean, she shared it one year with someone else, but that's a, that's a fair effort. Um, Denison, pretty big as far as clubs go, albeit a coastal town and, and retirement village in some ways, and although it's an active farming and business community as well, I know, but they have 30-plus ladies involved at the Denison Bowling Club. Um, and we're talking about who's watching, and the men are racing off to play in an elimination final today versus, I think, Gerald and Gold. A um, little bit understaffed with Paul Hitchcock and well, one of the Leeson boys... Um, out there's a wear a Leeson wedding, so I'm not sure. Oh, they're out. The Leeson's. Oh. Yeah, so mm. well, there could be two Leeson boys that could be father and son, Peter and Joel. I'd yeah. say if there's a Leeson wedding, they'd both be going to it, yeah, absolutely, because it is their Joel's brother, and Peter's son. So, yeah, I'm not sure how many of them made it back, but they're a little bit short staff. But, um, yeah, Mari Eaton and Lorraine Cliff will be on board watching, they tell me. So, they've got plenty of support back in Denison, big, big club, big club. Yeah, no, well, and it's a it's a it's a coastal club, and uh, the the coasties like uh, just out from us, Cervantes and Jury and those sorts of places, Lehman, uh, they're sort of getting stronger because the inland farmers etc are retiring to the coast, and Denison's a fantastic place, and yeah, it's it's uh, it's good for them, but it's a bit of a shame for the inland clubs. There, we're we're probably getting weaker, and they're getting stronger. Um, but um, that's what happens. People what happens. Uh, retire and move to the coast for the coastal lifestyle. And Denison's a great place, fantastic, beautiful place. There yeah, lots of uh, Eastern Wheat Belt boys that I know that uh, that have moved there, and uh, all good bowlers. Yeah, yeah. We 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 miss them in the Central Midlands. Uh, they're very handy. Um, so Courage and look like they're holding Courage and Pear holding a couple. Well, one anyway. Yeah, that one that's a, a little bit short probably is. Mm. So. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's short, if it's the closest one, Phil. Yes, yeah. Pat's come out to that wide hand. Let's see how she handles it. The, uh, the the other girls handle it very well. Yeah, she's got perfect line. It's beauty of three ball. Three ball pairs you get. You can have one to look at it and two to correct on. It's, best if, it's good to be able to correct it. It's best if you don't have to, Phil. Yeah, yeah. I know, I'm three's not enough for me most times, Doug. So, um, yeah. yeah, I know. Probably... Five or six might be better. Yeah, we'll see if we can get that board in. On line again, just a bit short. Now says Shane Judas in end adds to the adds to the live screen with a little message saying that both Gloria and Pat have beaten him and Joe in mixed scrounges. Joel, him uh, and Joel. Joel. It is yeah. Joel Leeson. Yeah, they've beaten both of them. So. Yeah. That yeah. That's probably not much of a feat, really. Yeah. You know, no, no, I wouldn't. No, uh, no I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, no, I wouldn't credit them with much. No, not much there. It wouldn't be many most that have be beaten pretty, those yeah, two. I think a lot, most people have beat those mm -hmm. two. Yeah. yeah. Couple of good bowlers, Shane and Joel. Yep. <laughs> two of the better ones. First prize if the state selectors haven't got their names. Oh, circled. I think they have. Yeah. If not, maybe they've got them penciled in. Yeah. And Nolene, just just about the same nearly. weight, yeah, not quite there. Uh, so the wind stuck pretty much in that same. Yep, it hasn't changed a lot. It's uh, there's still a nice, nice, fairly wide draw out here. And the sun's as predicted has lifted that shade, so they get a clear look. I mean, I'm not sure it makes that much difference, but there's just that. No, uh, it was just on the screen. It was a bit hard to see. It's like going to the footy and you get the shadow of the grandstand and you can't see the football. But uh, it's pretty easy now. Well, uh, so that's uh, just that's uh, the the the, 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 in, the score indicator indicated 
four for those. So those those two bowls of Nolene's that are a bit short must, must be in the count. Yeah. So. Yeah. So she did she did put four lollipops up. And if this gets under, it'll probably count as well. So all yeah, about to be, that'll here. be the shot. Yeah. That'll be the shooter. So we'll yeah. see how many cards, yeah, how many doesn't paddles come out here. But yeah, it didn't look like four, but we're not there. Yeah, let's just give her that one. It's two, and I suggest the tape may come out here. I think the one at the back has to be in then. If they're that one, they're the yeah. one they're taking now. Yep, it had to be in. Now it just depends Three. on the front. Though. Yeah. Obviously, she's going to measure. Have to. So this will be a great reply. So it's all here. Yeah, great reply after, after dropping three. They're uh, they've got their three back and and going for another number. Didn't measure the back blue one first. So if this one's in, she might have to re-measure. It's not in. Three. Yep. Three. Great start. Three all. Yeah. So good way to bounce back, like you say. And I think this is going to be indicative of this game being 17 ends. Phil, that correct? 17, yes, gone 17. from 14 to 17, oh. yes. So 14 in the semis, 17 in the final. Yes. Yes. Uh, a, lot, a lot quicker than 2 by 2, but uh, 17 ends will take us a while, that's for sure. So I see Nola Forbes is glued to her screen, to whatever device she'll be watching oh. it on, but Nola's a oh. very good bowler. I've seen Nola... Put a few down, and a courage and girl, of course. So she'll be obviously would have played a lot of bowls with uh, Nolene in a time, I'd suggest. And is that long enough? Yeah, Phil, you've got yeah, a very, a very well good judge. I judged it last time, but um, it looks a bit short. This one. Yeah. No, the girls have decided it's short. So is an advantage. We spoke about this in the single. So is it an advantage being a coastal town of Denison and the? This breeze that's coming through, albeit not a sea breeze, oh, look, but breeze um, is breeze. They'll all tell you that it's no advantage, but it is. It is. It has to be a bit of advantage. But, and they're right. They don't like playing in, uh, you know, fifty knot breeze. It's not much fun. No. Bowls do it. Don't do what they're meant to. And, um, but it is harder when you don't play in a lot. Uh, I must admit, I wouldn't like to play in a howling sea breeze every weekend. Uh, but through. Uh, the middle of the summer they have to because it blows every day you know in, in in most coastal places as you see in the city you know you mozzie park places like that Fremantle, uh you know obviously coastal places the same sorrento we i see joel leeson is awake i don't know whether joel's going to a wedding or whether he's playing bowls but he has made a comment but um so i don't know whether him and dad uh peter are, are bowling or going to a wedding i'd say say that Joel's in Denmark and wobbled that one out but that that will be that's the sign of she's a new bowler and and that will that does happen oh yeah I've that's seen easy. some very experienced yeah, bowlers yeah. do that draw to an offset yeah. jack I've bowled lots of smoother bowls than that and been a lot further away than that one so Gloria is wearing a mask she had actually had some surgery on the side of of her face the other day for a little bit that had to get chopped out so that's why she's wearing that a bit of added protection yeah for this just out in day. the sun she's she doesn't yep. doesn't wear it inside she's just got it in the sun just to look after her face been there done that yes yes well you, yeah of course you have and just recently yourself mm. so mm. June, she got that one a bit smoother, and of course it went a lot further when you get them out of your hand a lot nicer. They've all picked it pretty well, they picked the line pretty well. Uh, they have played this morning. Both teams played, didn't they? Yes, yes they did. they did. Yeah, so obviously uh, they've got a feel early, we thought that was good, but, but they have played. This one's on track again. Looks like so pretty pretty good weight too. Yeah, mm. so Gloria uses... Aero Optimas, they're just they're one and a half heavyweights. So the the wind, you know, being a smaller bowl, the wind will knock them, shift them around a bit more. But the wind is is steady. It's not a gusty easterly, so you know it's not as unpleasant as it can be when you get something that drops and is really heavy and gusty. As we see, a great correction if she sits that bowl, just no, she under. does slides underneath. Yes. 
So that's her three gone. The uh, just in case anyone's interested, one of the uh, Premier League up updates: Double View played at Double View. They're playing South Perth. Scores W58 to 53, but I don't know what end that is. But five shots in it there. Double View in front. They finished on top. South Perth finished second. Uh, Cambridge our, with our good mates. Uh, great bowl there. I'm sorry about that. Um, from Gloria. Uh, our good mates Peter Harris and uh, Clive. They they were in front by oh, about a dozen or so. The latest score I got. But that was ooh, probably 20 minutes ago. Anything could have happened. Yeah, game changes quickly over when you play four rings. Yep. So back here, Gloria's uh, last bowl was a ripper. Cracker, absolutely. So uh, I suppose when you're playing Nolene Abbey, you need to keep a bit of pressure on her. No, um, Nolene will go, there's just bread and butter for her drawing to the jack and pulls that one up. Four foot shot, as I say that. Yeah, well, sometimes that's what the pressure does. You're trying to draw the ultimate shot, so yeah. you, you can finish a bit short when you're, do when you're doing that. And leaving the ball behind rather than jack high it means that you don't, the margin for error increases dramatically. Um, Pat, Pat's pretty well seasoned, an experienced bowler, and plays another beauty. Yes, ripper. Oh, that is very good. Yes. It does fatten the target slightly, so mm -hmm. Nolene's a master of reaching. She'll know to play the percentage bowl, not the perfect bowl here. Something that she's done many times. Um, will that swoop back from Ooh, there? Maybe not. That maybe wind may not, hold that. Maybe not. It, well, well, geez, it's doing a bit of work now. Yeah, not far off. I tell you what, it did swoop back right on the line there, Doug. So did it sneak into third oh. shot? Uh, I don't think so. Nor do I. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, but it did come home a long way. Absolutely. Puts it down, stays on the mat for a long time, Nolene. Let's the bowl do the work. Doesn't jump up quick, just a lovely, lovely delivery. Not very complicated. So a little bit tight, that one by Pat, as it just slides across the head, doesn't come into consideration for the count. So, Nolene. And Nolene, there's a lot of people watching, a lot of people with their eyes it's on this ball. ball. I, I think this is good. This is my judgment. I think yep, it's the screen good. tells us that this is a pretty good bowl. Gee, well, that's a bowl of a champion. That is an absolute... She's got a touch. Front resting it. touch on. I've got to put my hands up and give that a little fairy clap so yep. you guys can't hear it through the mic. And we've got half of Ooh. the Courage and Bowls ladies are watching from the Duns Dunsborough. Go ladies. Um, I think they should crack a bottle or two of champers or an SSB and they sit back and if you're going to enjoy it, your moles will really enjoy it. Oh, I wonder what they're doing. Does what are they having an end of the year uh, trip? Well, while these two are here playing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> don't know. Maybe we'll get uh, a bit of insight. It may have been a wedding. It may have been, or just the courage and ladies, just what they do. That's a yeah, well, the part least, of the game. Enjoy the each other's are at a wedding. Yes, in Denmark. So yeah, they can't make the finals. Yeah, I know. Bit of a shame. I wonder if does um, Shane Judas Nan play for Geraldton Gold? Do you know? Um, look, I don't know what colour Shane plays for. Hit whatever. No, I don't Could know. Right. No, like mm, he might tell us in a minute. He's probably busy playing bowls now, but or nearly. Nearly. Current state fours champion. Yes. Shane and Joel. Joel from Denison was his third. Yep. John Trotter, slotted in there. Then Johnny Trotter and um, a little blow in from. From, from Jindler. Jindler. It was yeah. Penny Leggett, who's yep. most of the way to Geraldton anyway. Jindler, up, so. Yeah. Good bowler is Penny Leggett. Well, the whole good, good combination. Here we go. What's Pat got? She's no, a bit the wider. There's, no. a, there's a big gust of wind then, too. That wouldn't have helped. Well, Nolene Abbey showed her absolute class there. That was sensational. And the wind she's has got to touch her without moving the jack, I reckon. And she didn't have room to move the jack with two balls poised right she behind didn't, it. So she didn't, but she had got a touch without moving the jack. Absolutely sensational. And I'd bet London Tour Brick will see that again before this <laughs> afternoon's out, mate. Yes. I said you've got to put the pressure on her, but you can't put much more pressure on her than they did then, and she still got it. Anyway, 
That's good. Oh, that's Fantastic good. bowl. Well so, done, Nolan. So, Pat Belcher actually skipped in the country metro outing on Sunday, Phil. She, oh, right. She played I th- I Donald thought I Blackmore. S- I, yeah. thought I, saw, I thought I saw Pat there. Yeah, and um, uh, she actually won that ring. And Donna, oh, oh, we all do rate Donna Blackwell through the roof. She's a great, great individual and a great bowler. And, um, you know, depending, you've got obviously got to have three other bowlers with you, so you can't do everything. But uh, that was another feather in the cap, cap of Pat Belcher. So June hasn't quite picked that yet, but that she's got she's got really good weight. She's just not quite oh, on, but it'd be scary when June gets her eye in. So I've just so I just got a bit more insight into what's happening at Corrigan. They, um, this is how they spend every weekend sitting around watching. No, they're not. Sorry, they're 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 at the Corks already off, and we're at the Ladies' Seventieth at Dunsborough, uh, but they're glued to the coverage. So oh, awesome! Awesome! Absolutely. Oh, that's good. So Hickey from Corrigan's also on, watching the game, and there'll be a big Corrigan contingent. So Gloria on the mat, she can just ride off hers, slides around it, and then underneath it, nice weight, a little tight. Uh, the technical director's just said, could the Corrigan girls at Dunsborough send a photo? And um, they might see themselves on the, on the screen in a minute if they can uh, send us one, send one through to this line. On Facebook, yep. It just highlights the social significance of balls, doesn't it? Feel that you know it's not just playing the game and you know being physically and mentally and you know active, but the friendship you get out of it. And, and I'm sure the the ladies down there are having a great time. Uh, I think Country Week typifies it. I mean, uh Country Week's just the highlight of the year for me and, and my mates. You just have so much fun. It's uh, You meet so many friends from around the state. I think I know someone in every town in Western Australia through bowls, and uh, most people do. And lot, most of the times you can't remember the name, but, you know, that's when the mate comes in. G'day, mate. I'm hopeless with names, but oh, you meet so many people, and I, I'm sure the girls are the same. I know I know the Mora girls uh, didn't do so well. Oh, they didn't do too bad this year, but they... Uh, after getting in the final of the singles last year, they 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 had a, they had a ball. They they loved it, and um, I think most people do. Yeah, it's the friendships, the friendships, the main thing. Uh, Nolene's urging a ball on, she's but cursing it's it. I don't think she thinks she's just cursing it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> politely cursing. Yes. So. Pat's been left for him. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is certainly the most wayward end we've had so far. They've been right on top of it, but that happens. That's uh, it's uh, probably easy when you're sitting there watching. You think, gee, I could have got a couple inside that. But my tip is that different when you're playing. Yeah, uh, my tip is that <laughs> Nolene will correct. <laughs> yes, I think I'd I'd probably put a dollar on that. <laughs> And uh, not a bad collection. It'll be, it'll probably be shot. Still a bit of room. Yeah, uh, still touch and go. No, that yep. last bowl uh, shot. Yes, last bowl shot. Glo- yeah, Gloria's called called her. Uh, she's saying they're down. So yep. two and a half foot to draw shot. Yep, that's the good news. Looks it looks good from where I sit. Gloria's interested. Looks very good. Has to be shot. It's very close actually. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to have to do that all day, tennis all ladies. Day, all day, every day. Eileen's <laughs> uh, asked her lead, you know, she's, could she change? Yes, she's going to change hands. She sort of indicated that. So Pat's bowl is behind Jack. Foot away. Eileen's, so she's the 
able to master the switch she's, up. She's she's out in the in the good country. She's trying, but I don't think she's going to make it. No. So still one holding one. One. To so Pat, uh, there's not a trail. There is actually a trail on, but they decide they'll draw inside the meter mark, and we'll have a look. Yeah, I think yeah, you wouldn't be. There's nothing special on there. Be just drawing another shot. And it's pretty close, I would say. Might have to sit the back one. Yeah, it just ran past. Thought gave it a chance. Gave it a chance. Yep. Yeah. One shot. I'd suggest four all. Yeah, Dennison get one. That's four all on four. So. So I'd suggest that the Corrigan ladies down set are Operating the 70th, we've asked for a photo, but I think they might have had too many bottles to operate the the phone and the camera. So we'll hopefully they're listening, and then one of them they can find someone sober out in the other <laughs> other room that can come in and take a photo and send off for them. Oh, they're probably still working on it. It's going to a 70th, you know. They mightn't be able to understand the technology. Oh, no, it's it's a, bit past, a bit past me, that. <laughs> and I'm not 70. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Is that right? <laughs> oh, I got that wrong. People pick me as being older than what I am, but I was really young when I was born, Phil, so yeah, it really confuses you're lucky. them. Yeah. yeah. So we did ask earlier on if there's any completed finals around the wheat belt, around any around the state, in the met in the country areas to flick through your scores, who the pennant winners were. We I did get one from Des Miguel up at Beacon, who managed the Beacon boys managed to get over the Wild Catchem lads by one shot in the final. That'd be heartbreaking, Ooh, wouldn't it? Dear whiz. Yeah, one shot. One shot. Um, Long way to go. One to of get. the men's Premier League, the top two teams, uh, double view have skipped out and now they're 66-54 to South Perth. Haven't got any ends there. So they're 11 in front, but I haven't haven't got a double view score. Um, I'll see if I can get one. So I've got some from 15 minutes ago, but the year gets out of, out of date real quick by the time they play two more ends over eight rinks. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, great bowl from June there. She's uh, she's changed to went out on the wide hand and uh, it's a good ploy, isn't it? Played, pl yeah, played it, played it well. She had just struggled a little bit on that tight side, so this might just might get her in the groove again. You know, it's easy to get sunk on a you know if it's gusty wind and and the wind gets a long time to look at the face on that tighter side, isn't it? You know, sometimes it's your friend yeah, and other times it, you know. don't like it at all. Most times you, 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 you want to beat it. You're determined to, to to beat it instead of admitting defeat and going to the other side. And Wow, nailed another one. How yeah, good's this? Another good bowl. Just, yeah, that's, yeah, that's very handy. Yes, good bowling. Mm. Well done, June. Doesn't tell you that she's a new bowler when she does that. I yeah, think, so. well, that's the problem with new bowlers. They, uh, oh, oh, I don't like them. All they do is get close all the time. They don't know any different. Yeah, that's right. They know nuisance. how to keep the game simple, don't they're they? They're 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 yeah. Take grass and get the right weight <laughs> and see what happens. Yeah. But so it only takes a few years and they learn. Yeah, they'll bring them back to the pack. Yeah. Uh, two's good, three's better. Let's see how she goes. Oh, she's. Uh, I'm sure if we had a little. Nolan's clapped it straight out of the. Straight hand. out of the gap. Yeah. Yep. So Once they pick so that height. So she's picked. She's picked the grass. Yeah. She's. She gets there. This is the beauty of swinging. It's, it's um fair effort. Yep. Fair effort. Um, I would suggest that June has been very good at some other sports as well to come into bowls and pick it up this quickly, Phil. I mean, you yeah. see, you'd see it through your time. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah um, she probably plays, uh, you know, other, other sports for sure. You don't you don't come along uh, at the age of our age and then just just pick it up if you're not a natural sort of a sports person. 
But bowls is a good game. Anyone can play it, and uh, it's amazing. It only takes one bowl to bring you back the next week. Well, that's the um, Lisa Featherby story. So, I mean, I've used this a few times, uh, that she got invited into a social... Just watch this bowl. Just missed on Slides behind. Oh, side, yep. Uh, yeah, and she said took her two bowls and she was hooked. <laughs> she got a she got a career in bowls and a husband out of that out of that game too because that was Jamie's team was the one she played for. Oh right. So no, I hadn't heard that. Haven't you heard that? Yeah, right. Eh? No, uh, I know she can play a bit. She plays a bit. I know yeah. she plays often. She's a good treasurer on the board. She uh, yeah. looks after things pretty well. Yes, I mean, yes. With our meal allowance of $5 between us for lunch oh, today yeah, was yeah, I know. a bit yeah, over the top. Yeah, $2.50. What can you get for $2.50? Yeah, I know. Oh, Having feather be good on you, oh, I tell yeah. you. Anyway, NSS we'll safe. get it back. Yeah, we'll have to fill in five forms to get it. It's a problem. Yeah, yeah. He's just probably on the wide side again. And she is, yeah, she's, uh... So, four down. Am I right? Yes, I'd, I'd call that as four for sure, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And Nolene's so experienced that this will be walk in the park for Nolene. And right on cue, it's a walk in the park. Oh, no, Maybe fell not. Out. Yeah, fell out. Crashed well, onto her own? Well, yeah, that's, uh... You know, that misses anything, and it's probably an Elliot Toucher, but that's what she's got a few lined up there. So, but still, you can't so do much better than that. This looks a bit better. This is a better line. So, Pat needs to tighten the line, yeah. and she might have I lost some weight as she's well, done it. I hope she's she? there. Yeah, she could cut these front ones out. Oh, no, she's Not pulled quite. up short. That's a bit of hand waving, but that yeah. doesn't change any result. Um, I'm so Nolene will go. She's she's holding three. Uh, she's got room. She swings on the backhand. Her changing. I know we like to stay on the same hand, but this is makes zero difference to someone of this this ability. Nolene's ability. No, I would have stayed on the other side. She had she room have, to uh, do it. Room yep. there, but let's see. Her weight is probably nearly good enough, but she's no. a bit wide. I'd be suggesting three. Oh, I'm going for four. You're going for four? Mm. Yeah, I, I won't be surprised if you're right, Phil, as on we're watching. No, uh, no they like the jack high one. Three it is, yeah. Three it is. Oh. Radio seven four to the Courage and Girls. And I've just had an update from Nola Forbes that June was a very, very good hockey and tennis player, which, which will rest our case as far as taking that hand-eye coordination from one sport into bowls really gives you a bit of a head start, and we've seen someone as a new bowler pick it up very quickly. Yep. So June's, uh, she's put the mat back a fair way. I don't know whether it was a tactic from the, these two. She's played a little bit longer in, but put the mat right back. Let's see what happens. So that's uh, a little bit difficult, make, can make it a little difficult for a, a newbie in June, but let's see how she goes. That's probably not much longer. It just looks longer because the mat's back and... Uh, yeah, no, she started off pretty well, just a bit runny. Righto, we're just going to have a changing of the guard here. I'm just going to get the the singles champion to come in and sit down and have a little chat, watch a bit of bowls. Linda, how are you going? I'm pretty good. Have you thank had you. a had a celebratory drink yet? No. 
I don't drink a great lot anyway, no. but um, I will tomorrow uh, maybe. <laughs> get home. Good girl, so you just watching the film. So, um, someone you'd know pretty well, Nolene. I, 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 I went and saw Nolene. I, I know her, but I, 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 I did ask her. You know, what have you won? But I ran out of paper. Yeah, I just well, didn't know the list was too, <laughs> too long. She's a pretty big champion. I was just looking at the uh, country week singles, and I think her name was there five times. But she's probably won every other event. I don't know that there'd be too many things Nolene hasn't won. Yeah, yeah. She 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 thought she'd won the singles three or four times. She couldn't remember. She couldn't no. remember. No, there's <laughs> five of them on there. I saw. Oh, Le- five. Le- oh, she said th- three or four. Three for for Lee Paletti. Um, I'm pretty happy to get one, really. You know that. Was, oh yeah, one's yeah, good. But one's good. Lee's yeah. won three, has she? Lee's won three. Oh, good. Yep. Yes. So um, yeah. Some cha- absolute champions' names on there, so it's yeah, really so, nice to have so them So, apart there. from uh, Nolene and Lee, is there other multiple winners? Do you um, know? I didn't Did you know look this? too closely. Roma Dunn may be up there Roma, a couple yeah. of times. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Um, Kathy's up there. Kathy's on that trophy. Kathy's up there as well. One maybe. Jenny Parker's up there. Yep. She won it a few years ago. I remember watching her. Um, yeah, so lots of Deshaun Smith was another yeah, one. She's good, had a Sean, win. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, um, that yeah. Would, that was fairly recent, wasn't it, Yes, Sean's? that was only in the last, uh, maybe, was she last year? No, Karen Gagley was last year from yeah, Busselton. Yeah, from um, And then Busselton. Sean might have been the year before. Year before, yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, all good. No, yeah. no, one's good, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, one. yeah no, I'm pretty pretty <laughs> chuffed to win one. You, I you, win, you win anything once is good. I know. I didn't come to Country Week thinking yeah. uh, that there was going to be a trophy for me at the end, but, you know, <laughs> I was happy to actually play pretty well and had a yeah, no, pretty yeah. tough day yesterday, you know, against Cathy and then Irene yeah. Lay, um, who are both absolute champions. So, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it was good to come away with a win, and I knew I had to – I'd been watching Carol Bowl. Um, through the week, just seeing her yellow bowls out there, and I yeah. knew I had to be on the metal. Um, yeah, you, know, you, 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 you always you you noticed the, you noticed bowls because they're close. If if, yeah. if her bowls weren't close, you wouldn't have noticed those no. yellow bowls. No, that's so right. So you notice no. them when they're close. So you knew that yeah. she could play. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, I certainly did. Definitely, yeah. you definitely got away from them and been having a bit more experience made a difference. But she yeah. fought. She fought back in the end. And it's a it's a game of momentum. We were it saying um, singles. Yeah. You you have three or four ends where yeah. you're on top, and yeah. that's when you have got to capitalise. Yes. No more so than when you played Cathy yesterday. Gee, that was a couple of big momentum swings there. Yes, there was. And, I mean, Carol's, you know, I mean, we might say I'm more experienced, but I actually think she's probably been bowling maybe 10 years longer than me. But, um, (laughs) you know, I've had 15 years with Mosman Park. Yeah, yeah, more experience um, in the higher higher end. That level. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. but, no, she's certainly a champion and uh, has been a champion for a long time in her own club as well. Yes. So, no, great, great competitor and really enjoyable. She was very complimentary and... You know, we had a, yeah, a really nice good, yeah. um, know, time she, out there. She, it wasn't. She gave you a nice hug in the end, and she, she really, did. really she meant did. it. Yeah, you could tell yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, no, it was good. Really As good. Uh, Nolene gets on the mat, she's had good weight. She's uh, her yeah. her uh, new leader June has, has yeah. done the right thing and got a touch with one and probably a counter with the other. Yeah, very good. Uh, and, I mean, so yeah, she's she's yeah. yeah oh, Nolene, she's we know she. But um, June, this is June's control. played one year of pennants. She tells me. Okay. So Oops. she's fairly new. Yeah, I haven't seen June before. No, but of course no, I've she's played. Uh, she said yeah. one year of penance, but she could have been playing for three or four years. Who yeah. knows? She might have just, just played more social. and then. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But obviously penance is the game that you you learn from most oh, of the time. Absolutely. I mean, penance is the ultimate, really. The ultimate and, game, yeah. You know, lots of people start out being social bowlers, or like me, I started out as corporate, you know, with corporate bowlers. I think bowls, we all did, yeah. But um, sort of got the love of the competition, I suppose, and corporate bowls wasn't quite doing it so I joined and um, you know went along as a new bowler with my husband's mum who was a founding member at Brunswick and um, oh, yeah. she talked me into going and I thought oh no I can't stand this game they wear long dresses <laughs> and all that uh, but then you know they Great brought bowl, in the, the different attire beautiful bowl well yes yeah. well I, so I, I go good. back that far that the ladies used to have a I think a a measuring stick that you st- oh. stood against and make sure your dress was long enough. I've heard about that. I've heard about that. You had to be eight inches off the ground or yeah, something. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. No, that's... Um, <laughs> no that's jewellery. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, you oh. girls could always wear your hat inside, but we weren't allowed to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought... Uh, yeah, I thought sexist. Was, I don't know there why. Was a, 
top, did happen. It was there was not a fair. top table, wasn't there, of the people, and they had their hat, <laughs> walked it and they put their hats on the table in front, and I, that was before my time, but <laughs> it certainly didn't uh, lend itself. But I mean, nowadays, look at it, you know, there's, um, and I, but I've still got friends who say to me, I, I, you know, I don't want to go to bowls, I'm not old enough. Yeah, yeah I know. And I wish I'd started 20 years ago. Everyone says that. Yeah. And we yep. just look at this end here. They're going to yep. measure. They've taken two out, and uh, yep. I think I think they might uh, favour June's front pink one for three. Okay. Or I think I think, I think oh, yep. June's pretty keen on it. She's yep. measuring, and uh, yeah, yeah, she's so got it pretty easy. Yeah, three. three. So yeah, three good bowls. They skip so out to uh, ten four now. Just ten four a after jump seven. Away. Yeah, and yeah, um, a little a little a little mini break here. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, played against Pat up at the. Um, at Coolin in the interzone. Oh yes, uh, just uh, fours, a couple just of weeks recently, ago. A couple yes. of weeks ago, lovely lady. Yes, I think, and we uh, Pat, yep. Pat skipped in the countryside, and yes, and yep. uh, had, yes. had a pretty good, pretty yeah. good game there. Yeah. Apparently, so. Doug watched that. I came down for that, but had yep. to leave early, so I yep. didn't see the end. But no, no, it was good. So she's uh, pretty handy. Well, the Denison yep. girls start started off like a house on fire. They yeah. they had six bowls within two yeah. or three feet, a um, yep. couple of ends in a row, and then. Uh, of course, Nolene's uh, ability just to draw the absolute shot a couple of times. Is yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And you know, she's the she's the master of weight control, Nolene. She's always got, you know, beautiful weight control. And I know she came to one of my academy sessions when I was coaching the academy, and she talked about her. And I think it, it's a shot she's mastered, just that meter over shot. Yes, she yeah, never yes. plays anything. Yeah, I, I haven't seen her play a lot, but Doug but said she's master at it. Yeah. She is the just the meter over, Perfect and she spoke weight. to the group, you know, about that that weight control, which she's got an amazing ability to do, and that meter over shot's fantastic when she needs mm-hmm. needs it. And um, that's what I thought about your game today, Linda, is that you were two and through. So when you did pick up the jack a couple of times, you had something to trail it to. Yeah. And and when you did get a pick up a couple of multiples, there was on the back of that perfect weight. Yeah. Well, I think I really focused on the weight today. Uh, once I got my line out on that or the narrower hand, even though there was a swing there. I struggled a bit with that yesterday, and I know Lisa Featherby said to me, "Take your bloody grass." So I took my bloody grass a bit more and uh, and just let the bowl work a little bit more. So, um, yeah, uh, I think weight control is such a big thing, you know. Um, and in a game of singles, you know, you're just after that second shot, which I've, you know, stressed the bit of coaching I've been doing at Brunswick. And when we play pennants, you know, my big thing um, is to say second shot's so good. And uh, in a game of singles, you know, going down once is okay, but, you know, you don't want to go down more than that. And you mentioned Brunswick. Just expand yeah. on the season at Brunswick. Yeah, this year. well, we've had a fantastic year. Um, I came back and started the year with the Brunswick ladies, and uh, you know, Brunswick had um, a first division team of twelve and a second division team of eight, and um, you know, all the girls love their pennants, which is great. And we had a um, Mondays. I sort of brought in a bit of a training thing on Mondays. It wasn't compulsory; just anybody could come if they felt like coming. Um, and it was, uh, you know, a good roll-up, especially all the new girls. Uh, the year b- previous year, I think they had something like nine ladies all started, just from having a friendship day, and these ladies um, all started to bowl. So they, quite often, a lot of them would come. And, you know, we threw a couple of girls, new girls, into the finals, and um, fortunately we ended up third uh, only by a shot or two, but won the first semi final. Um, against an Eaton side, a strong Eaton side, and as they always are, and, uh, and then we went out and played the preliminary final on the same day, which was a you know quite a, a big task really. Um, and we, uh, one of our skippers, Gloria um, Pelham, um, played the last bowl to win the win the uh, preliminary final, and so we went to the grand final with a, you know, thinking, well we've got here, let's just do what we can. But we had a my rink had an awesome day. And, um, yeah, so we actually won the grand final. The first time um, that Brunswick's ever won first division. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so it was mm, fantastic. Really good. And on the Brunswick club, as we see them cross over and Nolan on yeah. the mat, just in between or maybe end yeah. of the end, would expand a bit more on the Brunswick club, not just the success okay. on the green, and yep. the expand, putting in extra greens and, yeah. and Ross's involvement in that. Yeah, well, Ross is, uh, I don't know what he calls himself, but he's there all the time. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's putting in, they're putting in another um, synthetic green, uh, you know, funded the normal way, DSR and raising funds themselves. Uh, As Nolene Abbey draws the shot. Beautiful. 
Um, yeah, so this is the second gold fleck they've put in. Um, I think it's been a real advantage to the Brunswick ladies because they've had three grass greens, but putting the synthetic in, um, they've actually been able to be competitive with the clubs that have had uh, or have got synthetic. So that's really improved their game. Um, yes, yeah, so this will be this, uh, the second synthetic, which is in the process at the moment. It just looks like a big sand pit at the moment, but um, what a great bowl, Pat. Great bowl. They're very good. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, so um, that will be ready for the start of next year's season, I would think. Uh, so they'll still have a grass green, and they've got a green keeper who will maintain that um, for the time being and uh, with some lots of voluntary help. But great little club, great little club in the country, great club to belong to you know, like lots of clubs in the country. Um, yeah, so it's good club. Good, yeah, good club indeed. As Pat's uh, answered the challenge from Nolene and, and drawn one inside Nolene's uh, yep. bowl. Nolene's, Nolene's changed hands. She's probably a little bit on the high side, not far off, but... Oh, very good. Ooh, pretty handy. Handy yeah. home, very yeah. handy home yeah. there. Yeah, it gives uh, uh, another one in the head. So um, that'll get Pat to to change hands. Probably like to win this end. I reckon Pat would be, uh, yes. be good for the game, for sure. Yep. As she does long. change hands, comes out on the yeah, on the wide side. The, petrol, like we she? said, the truer yeah. side. Yeah, she's... A, Oh, no, the weight's oh, pretty weight's good. Yeah, weight's yeah, good. Just under yeah. under a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nolene's got a you couple. You know Nolene. What would she do? She play a little bit of weight at this or she'd be drawing? Uh, I reckon think? she'll draw just to touch the jack to back to her yeah. two there or just move the black one out. She yeah. won't play with big weight. Um, yeah. Always got that nice touch. Oh, yeah. She pulled a ripper up here a couple of ends ago. Touched the jack yeah. without moving it. Yeah. She's just yeah, going to cut under. Yeah, yeah. she's just but gone under the weight. Head, would have been perfect weight just perfect to sit on that, that one. Yeah. yeah, and, you know, she had... Um, she could have touched the jack, the bowl, anything. Yeah, yeah. yep, yeah. I think, um, so I, think Gloria's, I think Gloria's trying to talk <laughs> Pat out of this. <laughs> she's sort of <laughs> yeah. indicating we've got one and they've got these ones behind here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's, I don't know. Now she's putting her foot nice and wide, in other words. Uh, <laughs> yeah, stay wide. Got the shot, stay wide. Don't go near it. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, we found this side, or well, I found this, playing this side, uh, you wanted to reach and you sort of took your weight, uh, took the grass out there, but, you know, we had quite a shadow for the first few ends anyway in our game in the singles, yes. Carol and I. But, um, yeah, we talked about that. Yes, if you if you t put it out there, it does come back. Yeah, yeah, it's the true yeah. side, yeah, for but sure. It's a really nice green to play on this outside it Looks one. looks yeah. looks very nice from yeah, here. Good. So, a yeah. bigger picture, moving away from Brunswick slightly. Yeah but your entire league numbers growing in that area? It's a growth area? Um, I, I guess so. Um, yeah, it's sort of hard to tell from not being involved in the last few years, but I know Bustleton and Eaton sort of draw quite a lot of wheat belt people who retire to the area. and they Yeah, we just talked about that big, too. Bigger clubs uh, that way. The smaller clubs, it's getting a little bit hard, like Boyne Up don't have a ladies' um, uh, a ladies, uh, pennant side now. Um, Harvey... Uh, have struggled with the loss of a very prominent bowler um, last year. So they're actually going to be going back to second division, so they'll only need eight. Um, uh, binning up of going up to uh, first division, so they, they've just gained a few players from around the place, so they'll be looking for 12. Um, Capel, probably a bit, a, a little bit like Mosman Park. They don't, they're in an area that it's hard to draw people, that people don't go there to retire. So it's a little bit hard to um, to get extra players. But, you know, South West League's good and strong. I mean, just looking over Country Week at the players, like the Bunbury girls are still in the fours. Um, so the South West League's a pretty strong league, really. Yep. And I'm going to start you this, the answer to this before, but happy to be back in the bush and perhaps the less pressure than the expectations that you yeah. carry when you're playing in Premier League in Metro? Yeah, look, I, I've loved every minute of the 15 years, but I think once I made the decision that it was time for a change, um, I, I got to the stage and I thought I'd get up in the morning and i think, oh, God, I've got to travel to Perth today, you know. So I never, ever thought about that once, you know, and I, I looked forward to every week that I was travelling to Perth. But, you know, it does take its toll. I'm an age uh, number one, but... Um, 
I'm not missing the travelling, although I'm still coming up and playing over 60s and state events, and I'll do that while my body and my mind, you know, let me. Um, but I'm sure Ross enjoys me being home a little bit more. I think he does anyway. Um, but, um, you know, he doesn't have to fend for himself quite so much, but not that he really ever did. Um, but, yeah, so... Um, it's good. Just speaking about uh, city pennants, oh, just in case someone wanted to know, Double View South Perth, the two top sides, Premier League, Double View 70, South Perth 71 on 81. So mm. three ends to go. There's one shot in it. I haven't got a score from Cambridge, but uh, uh, what Cambridge is doing. But uh, So uh, my correspondent's just sending me South Perth. I've asked him for Cambridge. Uh, Yes, as the Denison girls hold a couple of shots and Gloria like to get one a little closer, obviously, as we've talked about Nolene's ability. Looks pretty good. She's played three good bowls here. Yeah, very good. Good girl. Put the pressure on. So just on, on uh, Ross and not having to fend for himself as much as he used to, I can relate to that, as you would well know. And I know Ross, myself and Jamie used to swap recipes quite often. <laughs> down to just me and Jamie and he's not a hell of a cook so anyway. <laughs> well don't you have a book, a recipe book, Cooking for One? <laughs> Cooking for thought One. Thought we bought you, all bought you that early in the piece Doug. <laughs> yeah we have. <laughs> it certainly doesn't hurt you. As June had a little bit too much weight on that but yeah. got the edge of the front one anyway so uh, yeah, there's a, a bit of room there there's probably two or three shots in there I'd say the three you and oh, back you've got to be a little bit closer here, than that for, to, yeah. for not against Nolene but yeah. that's all right yeah. they're there at the moment you can't do much more than that and um, back Nolene Pat's in got first bowl she yeah. might uh, she might uh, get something a bit closer let's see 10-5, nothing in it. Five shots is, is is nothing in a game of bowls. But you'd probably be rather be five in front than five behind, obviously. As, uh, I think uh, Pat's played a pretty good bowl here. She, If she gets a clear run, yeah, even if she doesn't, she got the edge of that. But if she had a miss that, oh, she probably would have just about trailed that jack back to, uh, back to Gloria's uh, last bowl. Yep, some of the comments coming up. David Collins, great end mum. Game of, uh, game of call if it's right behind your pattern, Gloria. I hope your game is yours. Go Pat Belcher. So Ivan Galavich, obviously some some of their fans from back at Denison. It's Nolene's next bowl. We talk about a uh, yeah, good line. Talk about her weight. She's a bit short there. But um, right. Four down, but she's got a bit of room. So... That can really put some pressure on there. She plays the same bowl. She'll get a clear run and she'll be right on top of it. So see if you can... Playing the two bowls in a row is the hardest part. Absolutely. She's on track again. It might be a bit short. Yeah, Gloria it's gave it a, cap, a clap, yep. but it's... Uh, yep. So Nola Forbes has just said, great bowls, June. June has played hockey and tennis, so she's obviously got a bit of sporting prowess. Yes, that's... Yep. Nolene Abbey, what's she got? What has She's this lady got? Ooh, Gee whiz, she got a little rub, but uh, which washed a bit of weight, rub. which helped her, yes. Yes. Helped her maybe get shot, yeah. I think she misses that. She's probably under. So one white, yep. Um, Glory's calling yep. measure. Yeah. Uh, Mark is calling uh, that Nolene has shot, but anyway. It'll be a measure, I'd say. Let's see what Pat can do. She's 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 just got to reach. She can touch the jack, roll the bowl in, sit. I should tell you, she's played a big bowl here. Nolene's bowl. Oh, yeah, might have gone oh, far yeah, enough. It did. She's got it. Yep. Yes, yeah, she got the shot. Yeah. I thought she might have been a bit unlucky yeah. there for a minute. Yeah. But it went her way. That's what happens sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. Never wasted that back bowl. No. Uh, <laughs> just watch.
watching June, you can see that she's uh, fairly new at it with her yeah. indication to a skipper. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it'll worry Nolene. She'll no. probably play a shot. Yeah, <laughs> Nolene can read the head from. I back think. There I think she very well. <laughs> She'll know. Yeah. It's not far away here. <laughs> no, she's going to hold out a bit. <laughs> From the from the finance director. Ah, one to the Denison girls. Uh, yes, so yeah, that's good. good. There's a game on here. Yeah. Ten six, Ten, six. after nine. Radio after eight. So we're about halfway. About halfway. Four shots in it. The Denison girls have scored the last two ends, which has uh, really has made a, a a game of it. Not that it wasn't anyway. Are they playing 16 ends in this? Uh, 17, I 17 think. 17 ends yeah. for the final. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Good. Just quickly double view it. Two shots up on South Perth with two ends to play, if anyone's interested. Mostly country people listening, probably, yep. but there'll be a few people that follow the uh, Premier League, boys and girls. The girls had their yep. final on uh, last week. Uh, Wednesday, I think it was. I went and watched yep. that for a little while, and the yep. Mozzie Park girls are running it up again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I came to Perth, uh, bowled for 15 years, and I think played, maybe played 11 grand finals and won one. Yeah. <laughs> went back to the country for a year and won one in the first year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I first time I've First time I've watched it, and uh, yeah. I must have mean uh, Christina Christick was right on early. Oh, she's oh, she was sensational. She was sensational, I believe. Ah, uh, sensational, yeah. They were uh, only, what, four what, shots four out shots, of it, so yeah. it wasn't mm. much in it at all. No, yep. no. Not much in it at all. So that the BPL, as you know, Phil, I was over there and got to see it right from ringside, and um, it's just a great spectacle. I mean, it's great on, on the screen, yep. but watching it, Watching it live, bowl by bowl, and getting the comments, and yeah. watching all the bits and pieces, especially the stuff that isn't on screen, uh, is really enlightening. Uh, you know, to see just what, a how good they are, and and how they handle it, and it's um, sensational setup. Promotes bowls really well. Of course, we've just signed up for another two years as far as bowls WA and the Suns, which which bowls WA own the franchise. One of only two franchises owned by the states, the rest are all owned by the clubs where they've got a school in bucks which we don't have but uh, we think it's an important way to promote and develop the game of bowls and um, put it out there as a marketing, as in just investment back in the game. Yeah, no, it's certainly what I watched of it, it was fantastic. I yeah, mean, I this year was, they, they played, they were very unlucky, um, yeah. you know, they could have won another three games easy, you lost just, the last bowl. Yeah. Tie break, just a couple yeah. of them, but no, they it was awesome to watch. It's fantastic to watch on, on telly, and we're really lucky to be able to have this live streaming and, you know, watching live bowls as we do. Yeah, no, it's amazing how many people uh, watch it. We've had people from other other um, states, actually, Linda, um, yeah. comments um, today. Good. and yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's very good. Not not everybody can get to venues, you no, know. No, no. Everybody has the access. Ooh. Andy. I passed him a little. Yeah, yep. so um, yeah, game on. Ten six after eight. Yep. That's that's uh, that's that's uh, that's what we want. Yep. We want a close game. Um, the spectators yeah. do. The players yeah. would probably like to be a little further in front, whichever team. But uh, from a spectacle, yeah. it's good. It's always a little bit nerve wracking out there when you get a close game, or you know, you're trying to get shots. Got a pretty handy one here. If she gets under that pink, yeah, yes, beautiful bowl. Yes, very good. Yeah, lovely bowl. Yeah, well, very handy. Yeah. Yeah. A bit better than handy. Uh, yes. Sitting a bit jack high, but that doesn't matter. You just got to get one there. Yep. And she's got a pretty good catcher on the other side. Very good the on that there. side. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So what June can come up with. Nolene's having a bit of a look at this. Uh, can't yes, see the girls are in the way a little bit here. But very yeah, handy. Tell you what, pretty good second if it's not shot. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty handy bowl. Yeah, a little bit more grass. It yep. would have been shot. Yeah, very good. Yep. Mandra girls out there having a roll up, getting ready for their fours. Yeah, that's coming up after this game. It yep. won't be long after this game. We'll be back live. Yeah. Yeah, good lot of. Um, clubs represented today it wasn't just all one club in the final so um yeah that's what we want absolutely absolutely right oh no, well uh holding one
So I've just had, had a message come through from Ken Pride wanting to know how um, we're going here, Phil, so what should I send back to him? I tell him. I think you should tell him we're struggling without him. Is he struggling still? Or is no, it going okay? He's not, work, well, he's not walking that well. Last time oh, I saw him, okay, because he's had a new hip put in. Yes, which, I and believe. He, and he bounced back, bounced back very, very well, and and, uh, and end up with an infection. Yes. He had to go back in and operate again, which is no good. He was he was doing very well. So he put another new hip in. Yeah. So. Uh, yep. Hopefully. Uh, yep. Hopefully this is okay. This is a pretty handy bowl, Nolly. Nolly, now he won't Gonna be far just away. Might be a bit past wide. It. Yeah. yeah, only just. Yeah, not far off. Got a couple of very good catches there for yeah. the next one. Yes. She'll be playing similar weight, I'd say. Yes, I would think so. She didn't play country week singles, Nolly, she told me. Oh, Is she, she didn't? No, no. She said she's, you know, much prefers the, the team game mm -hmm. now than the singles game. Yep. It's a pretty good bowl too. And uh, yeah, great bowl. Good girl. Yeah, very good. And uh, double view with four shots in front of South Perth with one end to play. Oh, and that's where Ken would be watching, eh? Really? More than likely. Yeah. I think we'll probably hear Ken's delta tones later because I think he's heading down. Good. Do a bit of commentary. Oh give yeah? us a hand. Very and good. Nolene has changed hands and it's not far oh, off again, but not quite. Not far off. Yeah. Breeze has just picked up a bit here. Yeah, it has. Mm. It's not a, Ooh, quite not strong. a sea breeze, it's still an no, easterly. It's not a sea breeze, that's for sure. No. But it's uh it's ooh, a few knots stronger than it has been. Yeah. All of a sudden, out of the blue. Yep. I think it'd be dropping off this time of the day, but it's picked up. Yep. Now, Linda, tell me, you mm -hmm. know, Noelleen, what's she going to play here? Is she going to try and hit that bowl or sit uh, it or will she play the same way? I again? think she'll play this hand and yeah, she'll just playing, try and no, sit no, that she's bowl playing out. under. She's, oh, playing, she's playing, playing under the, the skinny hip. side. Yeah. Because she can trail well, the jack, got, sit yeah. the bowl, do anything. She's get got a more options. Got, off hers. Yes, she's got more options on now this I'll hand. I'll tell you what June likes. She's it. Not June's far having a away. Fail. Oh, oh, just yeah. touched the edge of it. <laughs> that was a perfect oh, ball. One and far off. Right, you know, game on again. 10-7. Yep, yep. So a few results coming through. The, so the Manning v... Um, who did they play? They played Cambridge. Cambridge. The, yeah. The um, good news is that they won. The bad news means that they get me and you for the rest of the afternoon, Phil. Because Peter's got to keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they won. Yes, that's good, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Myself, myself, and Doug have got appointments, but anyway, we'll battle on. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> until, until the. Uh, until Ken comes. Oh, or Ken or Peter comes the cavalry, cavalry Ken will get here. Okay. Hopefully. So Manning ahead of Cambridge. So, so Manning, Manning this afternoon. Uh, Cam uh, Cambridge this afternoon will play South Perth. I did that. Was the result South Perth got beat? Oh. Uh, well, no, I shouldn't say that. Uh, there was an end. There was one end to go, and uh, South Perth needed. Four shots. Yeah, no, that's um uh as soon as she goes. Uh right yeah. Get so that message. Double view who ended up on top? Double view. Double view, yeah, the okay. files are at double oh the the semis are at okay. double view. Yep. And then uh so obviously obviously double view have gone into the grand final. Okay. Uh, no they haven't. Jeez, I'm I'm jumping the gun here. Yeah. I'm presuming it. But um the finals will be at at uh, Bassendine tomorrow. Okay. Neutral ground. Bassendine Green's are beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Beautiful yeah, greens at the yeah. country versus Metro. Yes. Yeah, yeah look, yep. look, look, look. I, I, I played country week there and it was, that was sensational. Yeah. yeah. So um, I have to ask you this question. It's been scripted. Oh. How did you go in the country Metro? Who did you play? What was the result? <laughs> I dare not say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, I didn't play Doug's wife. I played one Denise Kelly who was <laughs> absolutely on fire. Um, and she had a, you know, she had a pretty handy team as well, but she finished off if they didn't finish off. So we were pretty ordinary. We probably, you know, I, I hate to say it, but my rink probably lost the country, the, the aggregate. <laughs> but I'll be very honest. Um, and I'm philosophical, you know. Meet us again and we'll do a diff have a different um, outcome maybe. Um, but no, they Denise's uh, rink played just awesome bowls, a whole lot of them. They started out, they had um, Deb Kalinowski from... Um, 
Peter Manning. Peter, Peter Alberti bowled beautiful from South Perth. She was the lead. Deb Kalinowski second. Bowled very well as well. So, yeah, look, you know, they, they all played very well. But, you know, the country were pretty happy um, to get within seven shots or nine shots. But um, I think, you know, next year's new format will be really interesting. I'm pleased that it's actually going to go to an all-stars game. Um, so 24 players and the best of the country and the best of the Metro. Hopefully it will be a spectacle of a game um, more, I think. Uh, I think it's good for bowls as well. Yeah. Um, the pathway of country players into the state side, and we yeah. could sit here and rattle off half a dozen very yeah. easily. Yeah. Um, it's, so it's a real thing, that pathways, where it's yeah. not just tokenism and you see how many of the ladies in the squad have started their bowls. And yeah. uh, I know some made it. You know, Nolan especially you have yeah. made it while they're still playing in the country. I know yeah. Denise came from Northern yeah. into the state side, but the others that was their grounding. So yeah. that's why that format of getting it to an All Stars and yeah. really seeing the best against the best yeah. is so important because it's yeah. it's um the, the selectors and I see as I look over there I see Kerry Gloria, is still there just um, Gloria watching puts this down game. Um, um, so yeah. it is. So you know I know that you have um, had input into it. So yeah. an important improvement. Yeah, well, you know, look, coaching the academy was probably one of the most rewarding things I've done in bowls. Um, you know, it even beats maybe winning a country week singles, I don't know. Um, but, you know, to see the progress of some of the players and when we were at the country versus Metro and at Coolan, we took a photo of players that have actually come through that pathway and, um, you know, it's amazing to see them play and um, develop the love of the sport, I think, as much as anything, Doug. Um, so it's been great and you know some of the boys that have come through you know the Jack Easts and you know Matt Whiteley you know he's a just an ambassador at Bassendine taking on the captain at such a young age and you know he's there doing you know jobs that you know he's holding down other jobs and building himself a house and so you know their pathway's been fantastic and I just hope the academy keeps going um, I'd like to see the country clubs uh, use the country enhancement a bit more than what's been used in the past because I believe there is uh, funds there for country enhancement but you know it just is going to take someone to get off their backside and uh, you know say we want to do this um, you know there's I met, I've met a few people over country week that uh, are really keen um, younger women especially um, you know you look at the likes of Pam Smith from Bustleton who played I played in the singles last night um, you know as keen as keen out there practicing all the time. She's got a big future, and um, you know there's a few others as well. Yeah. As uh, just this end has been developing as we've been watching it, um, and Gloria played three very very nice lead bowls, but uh, June on her last after uh, the last one being three down, just sat on the shot, and she's rolled in for shot. Fan fantastic from a, a new talking about new bowlers. Yeah. Uh, uh, under pressure, played the wide hand, played the perfect bowl for uh, for Nolan. Nolan would be very, very happy with this setup now after being it's in trouble. And Nolan's played a... Oh. Oh, she, she only had to sit that pink. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Come off that pink one. It's, a, it's an end, I'd say, Nolan wouldn't mind winning because... Uh, no. The Denison, the Denison girls yeah. have won the last three. Yeah. Only three ones, but they've got the momentum, momentum. at the moment. Yeah. And uh, which is great. This might it's be a bit high. It's trying. Of... Yeah, yeah it wasn't, wasn't there yet. Might be in Nolene's eye a little. Let's see. She's having a little bit of a look. She's having a think about this. Not as easy now, not as easy now, not as easy now. I think she's going to play that side still. Play that side still. Yeah. Trust herself to trust herself to just maybe just under it, but just under it. Just under it with a right hand. Just under it with a right hand. She's a master of that. She's a master of that. because have a look at the weight yeah oh, immaculate weight. actually it's probably it's in the probably, count yeah, yeah it's actually probably could even be shot yeah it's in the count for two need one here pat yeah big bowl Get from this. pat here yeah uh, 
It is. It's a, it's a little tight, she but I think tight. it could be all right. Got the right weight. She could she beat the white. white one for shot. Oh, she Trying has. hard. Oh, just going to go under it. I thought it was a little bit yeah. skinny, yeah. Yeah, uh, just a bit tight. She hasn't got another one. Pat. Oh, Nolene's got a chance to make three, I'd suggest. Yeah. On this pretty well as well. Oh, just a bit short. Online, not there. Yep. Uh, radio. Just an update on the men's Premier League. So, double view the top side have beaten South Perth the second side by seven shots, and uh, they will now play Cambridge this afternoon for a spot in the final against okay. Double View tomorrow at Bassendean. Sorry, that's only one result, which is Premier League, and that's just because someone's been sending. If anyone's got any other results, or let us know if you like, if you want them broadcast. Jenny Bruce is congratulating Linda Warburton. Thank you, Jenny. We need some young guy, uh, girls from the country playing. Will never happen while the women play so much bowls midweek. Really? Yeah, a lot of ladies' uh, bowls are, are midweek. They are, but you know. I suppose that it, 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 uh, the young girls are working. I suppose yep. that's the that's the that's yep. the case of that comment. The girl, young girls yep. are. Working so they can't play. Get them into the yeah. midweek, uh, the the weekend open gender. Um, yeah, yeah, I suppose uh, Shane made that comment. He's probably talking more of the country, perhaps. Yes, he says country girls, country playing. Um. What a twelve seven on ten. And Glory has got good weight again. She's uh, Glory's got an eye in here. She has. She's not banging them weight. on, but no. she's got three very consistent bowls, which yeah. has got them back in the game. Middle of this game. She has just need to probably win a string a couple of ends together here. Yeah, well the uh, the, the Denison girls shot. did. They won three in a row, yeah. but uh, yeah. they just dropped that one. Only one shot. Could get a Ooh, bit lucky or a bit unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> Would yeah. have sliced it straight to the opposition. Yeah, yeah. Just need another one a little bit closer, Gloria. Just same weight. That's on a pretty good line. Yeah, it might cut her under a little bit. If it's right weight, it won't be far away. No, it's probably ah, that's not bad. Shot, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. She's yeah. still left some gaps there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to leave the gates open and let the, the others open. through, you know. You've that's right. We're country girls. <laughs> leave the gates open. You don't close them all up. No. June with the matching shoes to match her bowls. Absolutely. <laughs> Just noticed that. You've got to look good. <laughs> <laughs> As we found when we played the training girls in our fours. Uh, yeah, training girls from training yeah. came along with these. Magni we thought we looked pretty spiffy in our pink shirts, but um, the training girls came along and they had these beautiful coloured Aboriginal print shirts. And, uh, yeah, they were good fun, good banter out there <laughs> uh, between them. They were great group of younger girls uh, good very nice as uh, I would say Gloria has been the most consistent lately she, yeah, she's got the weight again but she's just a bit wide yeah. and you there's know. that breeze just picked up there yeah. too it's uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's, it hasn't but really been gusty. It wasn't really gusty in your no, game, was it? it was it so was much, there, but, but it was yeah. consistent. Yeah. yeah, you still had to take your grass. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, but at least you knew if you took it, yeah. what it was going to do. Yep. At, at the moment, on the yeah. on the tight side, if you get yeah. out a bit, you'll, you you yeah. could stay there because it's gusty. Yeah, hardest conditions to play in. They are side hard, breeze. Yeah, you know, we played more games in wind this year than we have in no wind. Um, yeah, it's been quite a breezy year, but that's the way it's been. Yeah, 
Oh no, let's see if Nolene can pick the line. It doesn't look too bad from here. No, it's pretty good. It's and got the run. Usually her weight's pretty good, so it won't be too far away, but might be a no. bit short. Yeah, yeah it's only just still t holding two, the Denison girls. Yeah. Pat's going to stick. Oh no, she's changing she's now. Yeah, I thought I on. thought she, that one of Nolene's yeah. might have been in her eye. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. changing sides now. I think that's yeah. a pretty good move. Holding two shots, you don't want to bump the opposition in. No. She's Andy out, but I don't track. know whether she's out far enough. No, there's oh, a fair breeze there now. They're hooking. Oh, she's just gonna go, but she's uh, yeah, she perfect wait, weight, but yeah, it was yep. it went a long way. Yeah. Nolene's gonna stick with that. It's fair enough. She touches yep. hers just under. It be a hard shot to play to touch your own up. Yeah. She'd probably be playing more draw weight and hope she misses at either side. Oh, is she under the head this time? Just under. She might come in. No, oh, not too bad. She's got to be out there, Pat. Same way. <laughs> Gloria's yep. telling Pat to take a bit of grass. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's interesting. You know, women tend to like their foot out there more than men do when they're playing. Yeah, yeah. I don't but like a uh, foot there. No. Um, uh, but it I puts me off. Does it? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, interesting I don't like because it um. That's how it worked. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Lovely goal. Yeah, it works. You've got to take some grass then. Yeah, I mean everybody. I like to. I like the foot there, but I like it in close. I like to think where oh, yeah. the toe is. My the bowl's going to finish. But someone like Lee Paletti, she likes you to stand out in the line that it's going to draw into. Yep. So we're all different. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the. I don't mind you putting your foot there to show it, but I, I don't like the per this person standing there while okay. I'm bowling. Yeah, that's interesting. All different, aren't we? She's going to change hands here. Someone just moved, Doug. <laughs> Pretty handy, she might be just a bit big. Mm, only just. I'll jump in with you and then we'll swap right Jumping in here. Okay. Righto, we're gonna we're gonna swap um, Linda, thanks so much. My pleasure. For your insight. Um, I'm sure pleasure. everyone gets pretty sick of us to just <laughs> just continuing on and uh, we're gonna have a double swap here and we're gonna get uh, uh, another special guest in too, and I'll just move out. Give me any. Well, Kerry, got the A team in here now. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, so Kerry Anderson, past president of Bowls WA, and currently the chairperson of Selectors. And the role you've filled for how long, Kerry? Uh, I think this is the third year. Third year. Mm -hmm. Right. So Time be, flies. Be um, gathering a list of of friends. Uh, yes, yes. Um, we have a meeting on Monday. We're going to um, decide on the state and over sixty squads. So the squads will be announced sometime in the next week or so. Yep. And from there, there'll be um, training sessions and trials to determine the teams. And uh, we anticipate that the teams will be announced early in August. Well, that gives a very clear timeline um, for expectations and then of course the blitz through July will be part of your selection, try, um, you know, observations and finalising the actual team? Yes, we haven't uh, finalised the blitz conditions as, as yet, um, however they certainly will be um, a major part of the selection process because of winter and um, the state events are over and we don't have too much opportunity to see people playing during the winter so the blitz has been very very useful in that regard i know um you know being this being a country one that we've brought down and i know i managed to blitz side one year and brought shane judice nan out uh, down to for everyone to have a look at and then sean smith was also into my side uh so we could the selectors could have a look at Sean around um, being with the best bowlers in the state and of course we'd already had Joel Leeson and, and others that um, were were being involved in the Blitz so it's a great competition and it's great exposure for 
for lots of very talented bowlers. Um, wow, so um, busy day for you today. I mean, you're here, which is great, uh, but also some pennant finals when I guess you'll be there tomorrow. Are you going to sneak off later on to go and look at the prelim? Uh, look, I would love to, but um, I, my allegiance is probably here today, so I will stay here, but I have heard that... Um, um, Double view. Thinking about myself, yep. of yep. course. Um, Mosman Parker playing Manning in the uh, First Division Ladies Red Saturday pennant side today. Um, Mosman Parker uh, beat. Uh, I'm not sure of any scores, of course. <coughs> Mosman Park um, defeated um, Osman Park. Park and Manning defeated North Beach. Right. Um, and I'm like you. I um, have my city allegiances as well, but... I um, believe Manning lost this morning. Correct. In the Premier Red, and I haven't heard the result of uh, the other. Double View got over South Perth in a very by four shots, so that was close as well. Right. So, so there'll so be more interesting results this afternoon, no doubt. Yes. And um, we look forward to a very competitive and high quality final tomorrow. And for those at who Bass and Dean. Yeah. And for those who like the live stream, um, there'll be more to watch. Well, you know, for a, for a new bowler. June is sensational, isn't she? To She's think. been Hard very, very good. Yeah. I believe this is only her second year of bowls, but she certainly handled the pressure and um, the TV rink, which is not always easy either. Uh, but she certainly held her own in this game and the one before. I think she's up against two quality players too in, um, in Pat Belcher's team. Um having Nolan Abbey to follow after you when you've finished on the mat's not a bad thing to have? No, Nolan um, hasn't lost any of her touch obviously, she's um, playing very well today as she usually does uh, She loves the occasion She does, but um, she's a very quality, high quality player and she usually rises to the occasion on in these instances So as they cross over Courage and holding just the one shot Nolan has won several um, country wheat pairs, um, I think, in the past with Nola Forbes. Yeah, um, yeah, Nola's been quite active on the socials, letting us know where she's watching from and barracking on all her courage and teammates, so it's good to see. And the rest of them are down at Dunsborough at 70th. Um, yeah, having a, having a great time from what we hear. Oh, good. Uh, quite difficult conditions today. I'm not sure what it's like on the green, but um, sitting and watching, it's quite um, very gusty. The wind did drop for a short time, but I can imagine the green's probably not too easy to play. The wide hand, I think, is very wide, obviously, and um, the heads have been surprisingly good considering the conditions. Yes, absolutely, and the singles in particular, both, both those participants picked it up straight away right from the first end they're right on the weight it's a sort of a friendly friendly speed the green it's not overly overly quick or overly slow so it's one that they seen once I've latched onto it they seem to be grouping their bowls fairly tightly a couple of ends ago I, I think the green may have slowed just a little because there were a few short bowls but um, they've certainly picked up on it very quickly and um, looks like Nolan might be holding one at the moment maybe two So you miss not having the president's role, Kerry? Uh, well, I left it in very good hands, and, and obviously um, you've taken over from Larry as well, and and it is in still very, very good hands, Doug, so um, no, I have no regrets. <laughs> uh, and we see another great bowl from Pat Belcher. She bowled well. I did watch a part of a game on Sunday, and well, she's up against a great contestant in Donna Blackwell, and she did, uh, did herself and her reputation no harm whatsoever on Sunday I can assure you but she just said another one sits the shot bowl out and stays there but not to be out done will she get a glide not quite so Pat would want to be make sure she stays high side here because you wouldn't want to be turning Nolan Abbey's bowl over because I'm sure most of our viewers probably would have watched the um, country or seen the country versus metropolitan result, where the country won by a mere nine shots. Um, uh, it was a very very good competition. There were five wins and five draws for e uh, five wins and five losses for each of the sides, um, including two draws. 
So a very, very competitive day. So Metro won. Metro won by yeah. nine, yes. Um, however, about three quarters of the way through the game, the country was up by 25 shots. Mm. And, um, the I personally was a little bit excited that the country might get there, but um, unfortunately the Metropolitan, well, not unfortunately, but the Metropolitan <coughs> pulled out all the stops and managed to um, gain some shots in the last few ends. So... Um, next Nolan. year, the country versus Metropolitan will go to 24 players rather than 48. So Nolene uncharacteristically tugs that tight across the head and one shot to the Denison Bowling Club. So it's like how you want to see a game. Nothing in it. 12 all. Uh, it'll be 13 12 now. As Willie Tan operates the scoreboard, not everyone has... Uh, mm, no, it is 12 ends. Uh, they're playing 17, I believe, Doug, is that correct? correct? That's right. Because the fours mm. game's coming up and that'll be a bit of a, um arch enemy mm, against um, each other. Bunbury Mandra, yes. Yeah, Bunbury Mandra, yeah. yes. Mandra girls have yet to have a game today. They have had a role, I noticed. Um, but the Bunbury girls <coughs> had a fairly uh, convincing win this morning, so it'll be a very interesting game, I imagine. So very Gloria's nice, yep. very nice ball coming in from Gloria. And oh. as per usual, they have got the weight, slid across mm. the head, but a good start. So some new selectors this year for the for the uh, s state selection panel yes, that you put yes, together. Yes, the selectors are um, Lindsay Thorne, um, Michael Sweeney's come on board this year, who's a former Tasmanian selector. So that's um, great news. And Gordon King doing the Gordon, over sixties. Gordon King and uh, Margaret Anderson will continue to do the over sixties. Yeah. Had Brad, Brad King was selected in the over 60s from Shorten last year, and he was. He skipped a rink and um, did. did very well. He did. There are always country players in the um, over 60s events, which is great. In the over 60s team as well, and Irene Lay from the country, as you were all well aware, um, won the most um, valued player for the series. And Kevin Pickering, who Kevin I still Pickering. claim as um, a Darren man, who was who was the over 60s male player of the series. And June continues to play outstanding balls for a relatively new bowler. So a lot of support for the Denison team here, as we see Shay McCauley and. Lisa Day, Michelle Leeson. Michelle's probably nursing a hangover after their wedding yesterday down at Denmark. And maybe she's not, but I think I'd be suggesting Joel would be. Peter, maybe. Hopefully it all went well. Great bowling family, that one, Kerry. The Leeson family. Yes, yes, Joel played very well in the um, interzone recently. Yeah. Reigning State Fours champions, along with his good mate Shane Judicy Nan and John Trotter, and of course Benny Leggett. Who, who uh, do I get any inside information how Benny Leggett's going here? Do I carry? So I get a wry smile. I expected no more. <laughs> <laughs> so Joel Leeson and Shane Judicy Nan will be in discussions on. I'm sure you're enjoying these questions about who's in the state yes, squad. Yes, and um, you know me, Doug. I don't give too much away. No. Um, but obviously, um, that will all. They, I'm sure their names will be thrown around at the meeting on Monday. I'm sure they'll be heavily discussed. Not without talent, those boys. Well, there is a lot of talent in the men, so it's um, very difficult to say now who will be in the squad. But I can tell you, it's very, very competitive.
we have a new ladies coach in Alan Booth and I believe there'll be some new faces in the squad this year. And obviously, or as I know, and you you know more so than me, he coaches at Mosman Park where you play. And your impressions, obviously it was good for him to be appointed in that position, but a change is, is good timing? You know. Yes, I think, um, well, obviously Therese Hastings is a very hard act to follow. However, Alan's... Um, a very nice man, very gentle, very kind, um, very unassuming, and I'm sure he's um, he's done a great job with Mosman Park, just getting to know us and and being encouraging as much as anything. Wow, what fantastic! What a great head. Oh, wow. So I think Alan's looking forward to the challenge. Yeah. So what's the shot to play here? Down by one. But got, well, s got second. I think she's relying on her draw balls, obviously. And she's not far away. So that might be a value if she can reach through mm. on the other hand. I would think so. She's got very good position now. So Kerry, how long since you've played in a country week? Oh, Doug, that's a good question. Oh, probably 15 or 16 years, I would think. Did you win a state title at Country Week? A Country Week title no, of any description? No, no. Uh, one year I made the semi-finals of the fours, the pairs and the singles in one year. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, we lost both the semis of the <laughs> pairs and the fours, and I was runner-up to Roma Dunn in the singles. Oh, well. <laughs> I did play seven games on the, the day before the finals, and I must admit I was a little weary the next day. Mm. But that's no excuse. Not an excuse, maybe a reason, but... Mm. I don't think so. I think anyone that comes to Country Week is prepared to play long, long hours and <coughs> many days in a row. Surprised that wasn't with weight a on bit the more other aggressive, hand. Yes. Yeah. But they've got here by probably playing a style, and so why would you change? So you can understand you're not criticising, but you just see a shot there that maybe and and they we've they're proven to be very good bowlers. And I think the yard over shot is very difficult to play on these grains as well, especially on the wider hand. Yeah, with this wind, <coughs> this wind, you you couldn't play a yard over. Actually, crashes short, but still. Holds shot to progress by one. Mm. So after 13 ends, Corrigan mm -hmm. go to a 13 12 lead. I think the girls have the been margins. very fortunate this week to have such wonderful weather every day. I know it has been windy and probably um, has helped, has not helped the conditions on the greens at, at times, but I think they've been blessed with very, very good weather. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, exactly. I guess Plan B, if it had been wet today, uh, then then the undercover was always the option, mm -hmm. as as much as the, some people find it difficult because it is quite swoopy on one hand here. Uh, but would have been better than getting wet. So there was a contingency plan, and also the difficulty we have, as well Peter Harris has, and and um, his fixturing with pennant finals being on and not knowing the results and trying to plan that far ahead it's always difficult difficult assignment for Peter to align get all the ducks in a row Peter does a fantastic job of organizing <coughs> country week and all the draws and um, as you are aware there's always withdrawals and changes and Peter copes with it all very well with a smile on his face doesn't yeah. complain no I know just two years ago we had 70 changes in the men's before we <laughs> before we got to the before we get to country week so I mean that was part of it you know going away from a paper coffee and printing an obsolete document before they got here and and just moving you know with the technology that we've gotten as much as it's that we have it's not being perfected it's getting better but it's a criticism that 
you know, I have, I get plenty of, but it's a case of that. And the same as the single straw for the ladies, we couldn't get out Kerry, as you well know, exactly the same reason, because knowing the where, venues. where the venues were going to be. It's, it's a tough gig. It's a very busy time of the year and uh, some of the greens are not available and yeah. um, it's very difficult when it comes to finals time. And highlighted this year by that the early Easter, uh, the latest start with the Nationals being at uh, the venues in Perth. Well, the two great poles. Um, and so Lovely we ball. found it really difficult. The importance of playing sport <coughs> of some description as you transition into to bowls. And we see the few gusts that were just put up on the screen then. So, you know, it just highlights the difficulty of bowling in these conditions, Kerry. It does, but doesn't seem to be worrying their bowls too much. No. <coughs> They're certainly um, playing fairly consistent bowls. I'm not sure whether the... the the roof that's behind us, whether it funnels the wind down or whether some of it goes over the top, I'm not sure, but uh, they're handling it beautifully. Credit to their ability. Because Corrigan's had synthetic greens for a few years now. Uh, they had great grass <coughs> greens. I'm, they I'm did. Played, yeah, and as you would you have, I played some interleague, not sure about an interzone, I can't remember an interzone there, but played some interleagues there, and it was always a venue you look forward to going to was Corrigan. Great club. Mm. Very steady on them. Well, both these skippers mm. are. They're exceptionally talented bowlers. Oh. Albeit falls out, but it's a bowl in the head. And as Pete will always say when we sit there and chat bowls for countless hours, Kerry, is you don't have to get shot with the first ball as long as you get a head that's capable of getting shot with the last ball. Yes, so you, you spill very head. wise words. Yeah, and from a very <laughs> from a very wise man, very gifted and talented bowler. And, uh, very good. You learn. It's great fun. I always enjoy commentating with, with everyone, but Pete's very good and very measured in what he says. Yeah, Peter's gone back to playing bowls himself this year for the first time for several years, mm. playing pennants um, in red for Cambridge. So he's had a very long week with Country Week and he had finals this morning. So uh, they obviously won this morning. So Yes, oh, well, I was um, here at quarter past seven and Pete was already halfway through setting up. So yeah. he leaves here, flies up, readjusts his mind on the way up, no doubt, and off he goes. I'm not sure who we drive and seen the results. I'll have a look later. But uh, then, yeah, re has to reset. So, oh, you know, I, I always get a bit mm. toey if anyone starts to say anything too bad about Peter. I, I see what he does firsthand. And I don't think people... Country Week takes 12 mm. months to plan. The amount of hours that when we allocate the hours in, in the work that the staff do, uh, it's it's amazing is this going to be inside rub here no uh, yeah so it's, it's yeah, a lot of hours go into this preparation so I see a comment earlier on from Lisa Day from she's actually from Carnarvon I did notice that she pushed heavy into Country Week um, as did her good mate who came down with the Northampton lady but they they don't get to play pennants, so Kerry, so that's an amazing effort. They just get to have a roll up on a Sunday and most of their bowls will be played from here on in as they have their carnival. So it's just a fantastic reflection on their talent that they do have. If only they could get a weekly game of, of you know, high level pennants. I think people forget that country people travel a long way to play pennants and I know even the courage and girls go to Westonia and if you're living out of town it's sort of a long way to go. Uh, yep. So we'll just Nothing to travel two hours to go play pennants. Absolutely. It's not the two hours there, mm. Kerry, it's the two hours back. The two hours back as well. Mm. So Pat looks to me like, no, she's going to bit just under the head. slide. She had a weight to change that too. So Perfect mm. weight. Now yeah, we'll see Nolan Abbey mm. holding shot. One ahead on the board. One at the head, and a chance to sp just split the gap. Going to 
going to pull up a little bit short, I think. Little fish are sweet, as they say. Mm. Now we can see Gloria shows her the jack high position. Mm. I think she'd be quietly thinking to herself is take more grass. You got two to sit on. She's going to be very close if she gets around that pink ball, which she has. And she's got oh, fat enough, she's trails it off, trails grabs it beautifully. The one. Beautiful. Mm. Perfect weight. Two outstanding, gifted, talented mm. skippers displaying their wares there, Kerry. Well, they've had such a long week and they've had a lot of games between them. It's not easy to get through to Country Week Finals Day. Yeah, imagine if we asked all the Metro to play all their championships oh, in the one week, Kerry. That absolutely. I'd in fact, somebody only asked me the other day, why don't we have a Metropolitan Country Week? <laughs> yeah, I got asked that too. <laughs> uh. <laughs> in the country, they suggested. Yeah, and I said, oh, I don't know about the green space. Or accommodation. Um. Yes, it's an ongoing problem. Unfortunately, <coughs> the small towns are getting smaller. Accommodation's getting harder to find in the smaller, smaller towns. And I'm sure the interzone, as you know, the eastern zone hold their interzone in Perth, which is popular with some, but not with others. Yeah, but mathematically, it's that's the central wheat belt bowling league, and they did it, brave enough to take it on, well supported. Um, a little bit of pushback, as I would have had expected. But end of the day, mathematically, it's 20 years before Central Wheat Belt hosted again. So we'll see. I mm. did ask the, the people who complained to hold it off for another 20 mm. years, and I'll, I'll we'll revisit it. Well, as you know, Doug, there was a, a very big contingent of spectators, spectators mm. there, just metropolitan, metropolitan as well as country. So I think it certainly didn't do the country any harm. Mm. No. And the bowls were just top quality. It was great. It was great spectacle. I think. And the Manning Bowling Club. Um, uh, yeah, were great, were great hosts as usual. Yeah, yeah. You expect mm. nothing less from Manning. They always do a great job. Bess and Dean did a great job of hosting the women's country versus Metro last weekend. Greens were magnificent. Afternoon tea was delightful. Funded by Bowls WA provide the afternoon tea, as you know, Doug. <laughs> you may have mentioned, Doug, that um, there's always questions about what what does the country get for their money from Bowls WA. There's always arguments about we don't get enough and it's all metropolitan but um, Lisa Featherby the treasurer at Bowls WA put out a very good very good answer to that question at the meeting last week and I do believe it really should go to all the clubs and it just shows you that um, Bowls WA is certainly looking after the country. Um, the comment was made that after those figures were all read mm -hmm. out which we're all pretty much aware of but is that maybe there's a ten dollar gap between the affiliation paid from mm -hmm a country player versus a metro player and that's meant to reflect the fact that um, the fixturing in the country is done by the country and they're the only ones that can do it because they understand all the differences and the numbers and the setups and their clubs and everything so that's what it's meant to reflect to a large degree and that's sort of the gap we maintain but they're certainly uh, you know and I'm a country person and they the, as country clubs and players they do get a good bang for their buck they do, and, and um, I think country bowlers are quite fortunate that a high proportion of the board and those working for Bowls WA are country people as well, so we've certainly got the country at heart. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I certainly don't tolerate too much criticism mm. I, as far as that goes, because I, I see it from the inside, seen it from the outside, and understand the workings of it all, so um, we certainly... You know, certainly are not metro centric, nor are we country centric. We've, everything we we do is for the benefit of bowls in WA, and it's always the charter that we're given, and 
me in particular is to promote, develop, foster the game of bowls in WA. It's not mm -hmm. promote, develop, foster the game in the country and or the metro. It's it's both. It's just bowls is seen as one sport. Got the junior championships coming up straight after Easter. Yeah, and then not long after that, we slide into the All Abilities at Cardinia, which I think is the 10th anniversary. Uh, I know there's a cutting of the cake that I'll be at, and I look forward to that. As we see... Yeah, might slide. be holding three. Yeah. Little slide. Certainly worth going to watch the All Abilities, though. Just quite amazing, and it makes you very grateful for, um, for our own abilities and our own good health. Yep. They certainly are um, a wonder to watch. Yeah, I really mm. do enjoy it. And I enjoy the good work done by Denise McMillan in mm. that in that area. Um, yeah, she puts a lot of hard mm. work. But there's, and it's really rewarding as well. I know Denise will tell you firsthand that, you know, it has its moments, but it is very re rewarding. As is this role, Kerry, that we've both shared at different times. Mm -hmm. score at 13 all it's anybody's game yes and it's just not one person dominating you no. know and I sort of picked it early or was I would have suspected going into this that there'd be enough room for Nolan to get at it but it hasn't been the case maybe this end she can swoop on the high side here and come in on the wide hand or We mustn't forget Leonie Potts. Leonie is, oh. is at Country Week every single day, men's and women's, yeah. doing the cards, quietly sitting in the background. She is an extremely valued volunteer of Bowls WA. Absolutely. Now, you couldn't speak too highly of the work she does. Uh, and it's not, you know, if, since we have a state event, it's my go to person. Uh, you know, who beat who, who's on the way through, what's the next game. Oh, she's priceless. She loves watching the game. She loves watching the players. Mm. Not sure whether that was deliberate to put a back bowl in, but it's probably certainly very handy. Yes. So Nolan still has a foot, maybe Tadmore, to draw this on the wide hand. That's to get shot. I think this is going to be a multiple. Mm. Could be three shots. Mm. So you're certainly not gifting any, they're going to have to be measured. Just the one taken out so far, Kerry. That's two. It's two now. That's three. And three. Three. Well, that's quite a significant advance on the second, on the third last end, second last end. Third last end. Two ends to go with a three shot difference. Still anybody's game. Fours girls from Bunbury are having a bit of a roll up, knowing that their game's imminent. So, Kerry, when's the last time you've played down here at Coburn on this green? Uh, not so long ago, Doug, but to be quite honest, I can't remember what event it might have been. Um, oh, but yeah, I seem to spend a fair bit of time down here, one way or another. <laughs> really? Either playing bowls or. I don't know. I, I played in the uh, Internations, which is a great fundraiser for for the variety organization and um, we get a lot of generous bowlers putting their hands in in their pockets it's a beautiful part of our bowls fraternity and 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 their little way they can be used as a vehicle to raise money for really important organizations and charities so uh, we did play down here I, and that was uh, 12 months ago come may i think is my recollection was from rink to rink there wasn't a lot of variation Mm. Um, well, I do well. 
members here say that the outdoor is truer than the inside green, but um, nice start from Gloria. So three shots up, two ends to go. Because the junior championships are held down here just after Easter. Yes. Um, Kelly Ray has done a wonderful job over the last two years encouraging youngsters to take up the game. Yes, yeah, she's one of the great people in bowls, Kerry. Oh, and a very nice ball from June. It's just drawn the shot. The perfect reply and absolutely necessary. <laughs> and it's as she says, quite correctly, Gloria says it's shot anyway. So if she sits on it, she's got a good second, gets around it, she can get shot and a foot to do so. So it's in the head, it's two seconds obviously, but... The weight looks pretty good. Yeah. Just a little bit under the head. Mm. Looks like it's going to arrive there a bit quick, doesn't it? But having one out the back's not a crime. No. Under the circumstance is very good. So if Gloria does get hold of this shot bowl and can push it through, even if she just puts it through to Jack High, you know, it makes it makes it a better shot for, for Pat to look at. Fair effort. You know, they're three good bowls, albeit second shots. So this is important. Three down on the board, two ends to go. Nice piece of weight. No, it pulls up short. I was thinking that maybe that would reach through under those second shots, but something that Nolan can add to Kerry. Yes. It's possibly in um, Pat's eye too if she chose to choose uh, change her hand. So you've retired from the over 60s playing this year Kerry, I have, right? I have. There's some um, a few retirements from last year's team, so <coughs> it'll certainly be a new look team this year, which we're all looking forward to. Mm. So Pat's not happy with just drawing a, another second. She wants shot, and rightfully so. Is she going to sneak underneath and... Or well, depends on Lady Luck will decide this. Mm, she's very close. She's just... Still... June's uh, ball a little closer. Still one to the Nylon Abbey combination. Who also obviously s swings onto the backhand with the blue bowl of Gloria Nelson's being jack near enough to jack high. Don't want to hit the outside, but slips around the back. Actually dangerous weight if she had uh, tugged that onto the ball. A bit less danger here for Pat Belcher. Righto. So Pat's asking the question, can I play through my front bowl? And the answer is yes. So, albeit the opposition bowl is half a bowl in front of Jack from looking from here. Well, there are more options playing that hand. Yes. Just all the catches. And the key to it is the weight. I think she's a little bit under the head. But it's not over yet. 
now what's that uh, makes it somewhat interesting for Nolan Abbey what's her shot here Kerry what would you uh, do well I think she'll she'll try and promote that ball that's just been tipped out a little yeah I think so so or maybe not so she stayed on there the forehand go. gone back to the forehand rather Uncharacteristically short for Nolene. Mm, I think she may have been thinking, well, she'll block that shot of Pat's. Yes. Or slide through for a third shot. You don't win so many state events and be such a top bowler without um, anticipating what the next person's going to do. And Oh. Anyway, she's... Nolene gets... Back on the mat for her last bowl. No point putting a blocker in with this one. So if she can get around the pink, stay for two, go into the last end, only one behind. Currently three behind on the board, one holding one at the head, one bowl to go. Doesn't show masses of emotion, does our Nolan? And not unlike you, Kerry. Just calmly comes in and oh, nearly draws second shot. Nearly. Just the one, they both agree. One paddle goes up, so we enter the last. Makes for a very end. interesting last end. Yep. Two's not insurmountable number to achieve. Certainly not, not for yeah. Nolene. Not for Nolene. And June. And June. We both certainly held her own this game. Absolutely. So do you ever get any time off, Kerry, you know, with the role that you have? Uh, yes, I do. I actually had to go to the farm this week for a couple of days, but um, um, otherwise it's fairly all-consuming. But I'm quite happy with that. I enjoy watching bowls, and there's some very good bowlers around. Yeah, there is lots of good bowlers around. Yeah, I'd certainly encourage anybody who wants to... Um, involved in selection <laughs> that my job will be available very soon any names spring to mind Kerry uh, well who knows it's very satisfying but I do appreciate you do need a lot of time to be able to do that ah uh, yeah so June's first bowl is probably in an annoying position, but it can, it's easy enough to get under it, but it's easy enough to tug it tight across the head. So we'll see how Gloria reacts to that bowl, whether it's in her eye or not. She's done that very well, albeit a little bit long, but it's in a very good position. Wait from June, but a little bit narrow. So it looks to me that's tracking really close to the jack. A touch will be helpful. S oh. Touches it, but doesn't tackle it hard enough. Mm. She got got that one fat that would have been a bit of a mm. um, made it difficult I think she may still have the shot I'd suggest she's got a one and a look depends if she cracks hers or oh, actually inside rub mm. well done from June
so some say lucky rub, some say great weight. Well, looking, that looks superb. Well, to that's me. a great ball. Great ball from Gloria. Very close second shot. And just what the doctor ordered as they go into the last three bowls each from the, the two skippers who have had an outstanding game. They'd both be very pleased with what they've been able to do. Absolutely, it's been a very high quality game. Absolutely. So Denison have been pumping out some really good results for the last two country weeks. Last year they were club country week club of the year and um, this year I'm not sure who will win that title. No, it's, it's certainly um, been a mixture. Nobody has dominated um, as they did in the men. And Jarrah had an outstanding year, didn't oh. they, in the men's country week? Yeah, and, and um, I'm not sure if it's official. I think they picked up a substantial amount of CSRFF funding in the latest round, which we see with impeccable weight from Nolene Abbey, but not in the count. I wouldn't want to have less than one bowl in the head if I was the opposition with Nolene Abbey having coming having you know her last ball. She didn't like that one. Because if it's a drawn game, they um, will toss and play an extra end. So that one slides around the back. Not actually out of it where it's positioned. Loves the big stage and the big moment, does Nolene. I think we won't be surprised at all if this one has got the shape and the weight. And right on yes. script. Good ball, Nolene. That's two shots. Now, drawn game at the moment. Pat's got two bowls left, and we, her weight is anything that reaches anything that's two and through is the go-to weight here. She's got she's got some very good catches at the back. Ooh, that's a tad wide. Ooh, that's interesting. Is that second shot? Or no, not? I don't think so. No, not to my eye, but uh, I think not. So. Still holding two. What's Nolene's go to here? She front resting toucher, easily easily said, hard to execute. Nolene rarely makes mistakes. You were oh. and slides through the narrowest of gaps. Wow. Oh. Um, so the call is get anything and you win the game. The game's square at the moment. The last ball of the 17th end in a 17 end game. So the only crime here is to be short. And that is going to be a winning ball. No, so we no. Ganked, we're off to an extra end. Well, well, I don't know who scripted this, but they couldn't have scripted it any better. Not only has it been a good game, it's been a close game. 17, 17 ends and no difference in the scores. Okay, 16 so apiece. Looks like Denison have won the mat. Will they give it away? I'd be giving it away. Which they do have the option to do, Kerry. Yes, they do. Winning the toss gives you that option. So I'm sure they're deep in discussion just on that point alone, let alone what length are we going to play. And if they think, if the conversation goes, we've found a length that that Nolan can't bowl to, I'd su suggest that they've got no idea about it. She can bowl to any length. What will they do? They're yeah. going to keep the mat by the looks? Uh, I know what my go-to would be, but... would be they're going to change the length yeah. I think uh, I would be going, going as close longer. as T to T as I could um, 
on the back of perhaps June being a new bowler. I think that's I that's what they're thinking is. Although June's but shown June's to us that shown, she's only yes, no. she's shown a lot of a lot yeah. of grit. Yes. Mm, it's probably much. two metres short of what she would have liked, but they'll take it. It's a little bit longer than they've been playing. So will the adrenaline pump in and the nerves come in? So plenty of feedback and comments on our socials that what a great game it is and whew, and you're preaching to the converted as we see it here and see it live and it's just a cracker. Planning great spirit as well. Sports and ship on display all day has been sensational and we fully appreciate the laddies who pushed through last evening to get us to the point where we had a, a final for our first game for the live stream and which has enabled us to have three That's finals a in a row good, what a good great start, from, start great start from June so begs a question do you get two chances yes you got two on that that's the beauty of three bowl pairs you should get two bowls on that wide hand I'm hasn't surprised played a lot that of she's I'm surprised she's changed her hand so am I because um, you don't have to get shot no just yet but nor Adrenaline pumping there, maybe for Gloria. Yeah, uh, she gets a look. She was there. Yeah. Well, that's a marvellous set. Very, very good. good one to go. No, it will be at 18 inches. There's still, still two shots. And you control that side of the head. So the biggest crime here would be park one up short <laughs> in the way. Could get a lucky glide or could park up, but third shot. Very good call by Nolene. Make it worthwhile them trailing the jack by putting one there. And she's just done that. Couldn't have placed it too much better. So I guess it's simple, you got 18 inches, three balls, three, 18 inches of room, three balls, and it'll be the last end because someone's going to win the end, Kerry. So I would think so. Yeah, someone's going to win it, and there hasn't been a drive as such yet, so I can't see it being hit out of bounds and very hard to get to. looking to me like she's tugged it tight. Uh, she's going to get a get slide it off there. Oh dear. Well, that was very timely. Um, luck's an important part of this game, Kerry. It is. It is. But she had reaching. She and did reach, so you, she had luck. You have no control over, so... Well, the opposition has no control. And now the other back bowl she put in is, is not in play as such, so someone moves behind the head. Nolene resettles, looks. Didn't get the slide. That she so try, great try. Yeah, absolutely. But by standing that bowl up, it 
does change the game that they can trail past that shot ball. So insignificant as that may seem, standing a bowl up, it does change where that jack can travel to. It's a fairly important ball here from Pat. I think you understated that, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's got the height. She's, she's going to slide past. So her second last bowl of this match and it's not going to hold as she's asking it to. There's still luck to be had reaching into those pinks but this will be interesting shot here. So she's been shown by her partner Gloria. Jack high position. Body language head drops slightly. I'm not sure she's convinced she's got the right height, but it will swoop. I don't think it's too bad. No, I don't think it's too bad either. But the worst thing she probably could have done is leave a, a, a wall for Nolene to sit on as we listen to the conversation. Still the one. Yep, nothing's changed Nolene. So here we go. If I had to back anyone to be able to draw this, I th that's sitting in the audience today, it'd be um, Nolene, Abby or Kerry Anderson. Kerry won't be doing it because she's sitting beside me so mm. I think Nolene looking at the screen where we get a bit of look at the height I think it's she's going to get a slide too oh, oh you're joking what a great game <sighs> what a great game what a great game what a dramatic finish dramatic finish could have gone either way and there's four players out there should be very proud of themselves absolutely. on the way they performed wonderful game and congratulations to all four girls yeah absolutely and the sportsmanship being shown by all four of these ladies is not to be undervalued it's such an important part of our game and, and i'm sure there'll be great celebrations in denison tonight and maybe down at denmark as well uh, depending where they all land. But it has been um, an absolute privilege to be involved in calling this game, Kerry. Yes, Was this the first time you've called one? Uh, no. No? no. I no, guess no. not. No. Uh, radio. So we get Phil Manning doing the Phil Manning stuff, getting ready to do the presentations, as yeah, as he did for the singles this morning, um, getting ever in position and, and putting up the AFGRI flag. We've had the AFGRI banner on our screen all during the game and and we, we thank them and BCIB for their generous contributions you know, towards finance, putting up, stumping up this live stream and we thank them immensely. It's really important that we get to promote the game by, by getting it to all regions of the state and as we saw this morning, it's more than just all regions of our state. We reached into Queensland and had some feedback from New South yeah, Wales. So, so it's been fantastic. So and we're seeing this, yeah, well, the screen's gone crazy with all sorts of congratulations for not just a great game, but for yeah. the locals who will be taking the shield. And what um, a thrill for June in a, wow. um, to be in a country week final in her very early years of bowls. Yes, and 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 uh, she really did uh, play her role perfectly. There was no weak links amongst she the four. Did. No, they um, all had a turn at having the shot, and you yes. know there were some great heads. And not, and I would suggest not the easy of con as of conditions, whereas we can feel with this cross breeze that they're getting hasn't let up. It's perhaps become even more gusty through that. So, so, so well done to one and all. And you know, we sit here again, and as much as we've mentioned it early, earlier, and a thank you to the Coburn Bowling Club for the way they have presented everything here and made uh, everyone's enjoyment and made as high as they possibly could have had it. There's a few, a um, little bit of a crowd, and I know there's it's day six of, um, of of so there have been seven days for those who have played in the Metro country game so there should be some weary weary bowlers out there I'm sure they'll be very quiet night for a lot of them especially after they drive back to the country Kerry. Yeah it is a little bit disappointing that there's not a bigger crowd here to see the bowls but of course live streaming helps and friends and family can watch it from the country now um, but it quite often happens on the last day of country week people have been here for a week and they're anxious to get home to family and friends and um, and work obviously so um, 
it's to be expected, but the crowd here have obviously enjoyed seeing the bowls, and I'm sure we're in for a very good game of fours to come. Yeah, absolutely. And I know Pat, I spoke to Pat Pryor, and she said she was hoping that Barb McNeil, who's holidaying up in Queensland, got to watch the live stream, which you can mm -hmm. only do if you if we do live stream it. And, um, and her daughter Rachel, hopefully she was tuning in to have a bit of a squeeze to see how well her mother bowl, as did the other three ladies that were involved in the game as well. So um, we'll just wind the, the commentary up there and we'll shift over to presentations with, in, which we'll leave in the very capable hands of Phil Manning. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Kerry. Check, check. Thank you. Well, what an epic final that was. That was unbelievable. But before we get to that, uh, we've got some equal thirds. Uh, if they're here, Judy Allen and uh, Jan McGinlay from Dandy. Got some spending money. Compliments of AFGRI and BCIB. Well done, Judy. Not far from my place. And Kay Burton and Angela Blackwell. Oh, well done, Kay. sign just there I'll just get a quick photo yeah 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 right oh well what a game yeah uh, all square and then an extra end and then the last bowl could have got the shot, nearly got the shot. And uh, the lady that played it's won a few, fair few. I, uh, I did mention on the telecast that I talked to her and asked her how many things she had won and my page wasn't quite long enough. So commiserations to Nolene Abbey, 
June Pet Shark. June's been playing pennants for one year. Uh, not bad getting in a Country Week final. Played very, very well. You all did, uh, but commiserations, but well done. Please come forward. Well, thank you very much for the, that. What a great final, and congratulations to the two ladies that just won. Uh, thank you to June for playing with me and playing so well throughout the week, especially today. Uh, this morning she was on fire. Um, and thank you to Bowls WA for running the event for us, the, all the officials, and um, yep, just thank you very much. We're thrilled to be here. Well said. From a lady that's made many speeches, I would suggest. Uh, she did mention Bowls WA and uh, I'm the new boy on the block. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Phil Manning. I'm the country rep. I'm fairly new and I've, one thing I've learnt, uh, some of you have probably heard this, that uh, Bowls WA is a very, very well run organisation with a fantastic president and a great CEO. Fantastic people in the office and uh, a good board. I'm just getting the hang of it, but let me tell you, you're in good hands. Don't panic. Uh, they're very country ori orientated too because there's lots of us country people as you know in the city there's uh, Most of the good city clubs have country people running them ex-country people running them well, What a final like I said what a great final and uh, from up my way a bit the normal northern zone uh, one-eyed northern zone and uh, last year the boys uh, uh, Won the fours and uh, good mates of mine up at Denison uh, and now the girls have won the pairs. What a great game. Well done uh, Pat Bletchard uh, and uh, how do I present, pronounce that? Um, does that do, Pat? And, and Gloria Nelson, awesome. Well done, girls. Did I get it right now? Come over this way. Yep, you go that way. Gloria. You want to take them or do you want to speak first? Give them one of them each. You speak. I'll have it Thank you to Bowls WA, all the ladies that we've bowled against over the last few days, nearly week, um, and congratulations to everybody. The um, friendship and comradeship that we've experienced. Hey, we're country, that's what you get. And it's just been truly amazing. Um, Nolene and June, I don't think I've ever bowled under so much pressure. Absolutely amazing. Um, my mate here, <laughs> we do play a little bit together and um, wow, she was awesome. And um, just thank you so much to everybody. Um, Patty can't talk, she's shaking too much. And um, just thank you, Bowls WA, and everybody, all the umpires, everybody. It's been really good experience. Thank you. Lovely, well done. And a big thank you to the two teams playing in the fours who've been here all day waiting for this. Don't panic. We'll just get some photos and you'll be right on. Thanks so much for your patience. If you take one